I think Kobe Bryant is overrated. Wow. Like, as fuck. Like, OD. I think he's just super overrated. Let why me tell do you, you believe why. that? Because I feel like Not he Kobe. does Not Kobe. What, ev- what a lot of NBA players and a lot of human beings. I just, excuse me. He does what a lot of human beings and a lot of people who work hard do, but he just yaps about it. I feel I mean, like he's yeah. the he's the hardest working yapper. But and those stories about, you know, like yeah, Kobe just wanted to kill people, whatever. Yes, he wanted to kill people, cool. And you know me, I hate Jordan because LeBron on top. But <laughs> I think Jordan did the same shit. You I'm I think you could pick other people who did the same shit, but they had the spotlight. Kobe was the face now, right? Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number 170, no, 167, 55, wow, <laughs> y'all is so bad, like, you know, it's not like y'all be not here for like months on end, y'all be here like every other week, <laughs> like, it's not that hard to remember, but mad, welcome back to another episode, I'm your host DW, I got my co-host with me, Tyrone in the building, biggest op in the building, you want to let anybody know? No, big fat, the top big- op. The Here biggest federal. That's me. Put you in jail. Big blue. Boys in blue. Represent. <laughs> if y'all new to this channel, subscribe, comment down below, like the video. How many likes do you want before anything else happens? Um, I'm not going to lie. For this video, I need a minimum. Uh, I need a minimum of 50 likes. Minimum. <laughs> but if 50 likes doesn't happen to you right now, Listen everybody that lives on the West Coast... It's going to develop some type of heart cancer. <laughs> Why heart cancer? Because they didn't get 50 likes. <laughs> okay. People, if you're living on the West Coast, you listen to this. Grandma's uh, too. <laughs> a like is free. A subscribe is free. You know what I'm saying? It just helps us. Shout out to all our sponsors. Shout out to SeatGeek. Use code NOREGAS at checkout to save $20 off any order over $50 or more. For anybody new to SeatGeek, if you're looking for a way to go find, go look for new uh, sporting events, concerts, uh, festivals, and you want to use SeatGeek, use code no regulars. We can save you money, people. I literally just copped um, going to the Giants game September 8th. Oh, really? Use their code. Bussin'. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, dear. I'm going to the Giants game. That's tough. I ain't going to lie. Wait, how much were the tickets? I didn't use the code. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how much were the tickets? Um, My dad bought them. We have a connection, so them shits was basically free. But I'm actually about to tell Steven I'm going to use it right now, actually. I'm about to say, Wait, who are they playing? Uh, let me tell. Uh, they play the Falcons season opener. Wow, that's tough. Was, I'm going just because it's a free opportunity to drink beer. This guy Tyrone is an alcoholic. If y'all don't know about it, he's like a he's an alcoholic that plays sports. He's he's playing sports so he don't get the beer belly. Wait, yeah, what? <sighs> yeah, oh, oh God, what? Wait, what's the code name again? No, no regulars. regulars, all caps. And shout out to our other sponsor, Prize Picks. If you're new to Prize Picks and you wanna. Get if you want to make bread, we're trying to save you money and we're trying to help you make money. People use code no regulars, capital N O R E G U L A R S at start a sign up and you will get $50 as soon as you place five dollars in for any entry or pick for prize picks. So if you put five dollars in, no matter if you win, lose, draw, whatever, you get fifty dollars back automatically. People, I should tell Joel to do that too because we're going, they're going to the Jets game. Hey, bro, run it up, run it up, bro. bro. Code I'm, no regulars, I'm doing bad. <laughs> yo, I've been trying. Yo, we have people. We have codes that can save people money. I be telling my parents this all the time. They be like, "What? We get a bit like, yo, come on, people. It's easy work, yo, easy look, money." I gotta start the pot off, bro. I gotta start venting, bro. I'm, I'm having a bad day, bro. I got my car towed today, bro. I know. I, I was about to Shit ask you about that. So maximum, bro. <laughs> like it was max. Crawling. Wait, did you park in that same spot you always park in front of the dorm? No, I parked on James Street, dog. Dang, and they they told you? Because James Street's free. So it's like, all right, so this is how it's like a risk reward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you park anywhere, like main parts of campus, you know where I usually park in front of the dorms? Yeah, yeah. You can pay, and if you get caught, you got to pay 45 right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other spots, you can go for free, but if you get caught, you get towed. Are you serious? Wait, so what do you mean get caught? Free, like, if you, don't, if you don't move it in time. On Tuesdays, you can't park on the left. On Mondays, you can't park on the right. Oh, is it for like street cleaning? Street cleaning. So they tow you for that? They tow you for that, bro. They, That's OD. I ain't gonna lie. Hella meat for that, bro. That's max. How much you had to pay for that? To get it out? Yeah. $233. Oh my gosh. 
Because usually in Jersey City, like, say, like, I, I spend at Jay's house and, like, I park on the wrong side where the street sweepers are coming. They put you a ticket? Yeah, they just give me a ticket. I'll, I'll take it. It's fucking ticket. Like, 55 dollars Like, Yari, that's mad work. Towing? towing my, I had to find it. <laughs> I had to go to the tow place, get it out, drive out the tow place. Kelvin had to bring me. They really? go back to work. It was Max. Oh, yeah. my God. So, how'd you find the tow place? Hopped on a bird scooter. You know the bird scooter? <laughs> yeah. I was looking around for a cop. Found an NJIT cop. Yeah. I was like, twin, you know me, because we're cops. And then he was like, um, <laughs> I was like, where do they tow the car where they take it to? Gave me a tow truck company. Was the wrong one. Gave me another tow truck company. And this is all on the scooter? Scooting. Wow. Scooting. <laughs> Scooting on Henderson. Wow. Oh, my God. That wow. Bar. You got up? What was going on with that, bro? So what? I got, so like when Tyron you always comes in the pile. I'll try, I'll try to get a ticket for you. I know this is mid. I already know. You get used to it, bro. It's good. Mm. Yeah, boy. Ooh, wait. That's not that bad. Not that bad. It's lemon. It's, uh, it's, it's health aid, kombucha, ginger, and lemon. Ooh. I like ginger, so. That just like burn. Like, you mm-hmm. could smell it when you drink it, but that's not. Ooh, I had some kombucha that was a lot worse. That's not that bad. Mm-hmm. This, though, it's um by its, uh, what is it? Palavo pineapple mango. Uh, pineapple mango flavor and I think it's like coconut water. Did you download the Yuka app? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You scan that? That's I, just like high as hell. Like in good. It's like green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I scanned Gatorade and this was an option that was a better option so that's why I picked it up. But this one's this one's like, alright, this one's type mid. The one I got over there, that raspberry lemonade, that mm-hmm. junk's fire, bro. What you doing that? You want it? Yeah, bro. Dang. After that finish. Oh, uh, okay. You want to try this one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, try this one. That's not that bad. Like it's it's like, it's alright. water. I think it's like, I think it's coconut water in there, or it's like electrolyte water. I don't know what it is for real. It looked like pee though. People, I don't know if you know, like this junk. It does look like pee. Like it, it looks, looks like uh, tequila reposado too. Mm. But I think it got uh, one gram of sugar. There's only ten calories in here. It got mad potassium. Oh no, six percent potassium or two hundred sixty milligrams. It's filtered water, clarified pine- pineapple juice concentrate. Um, Wow, I thought this was, I thought this was something else, huh? But, but yeah. Like, yeah. Also, yo, let me get into this, bro. Yeah, go ahead. So for the people that don't know, I'm about to go to Italy again, right? You know, I'd be traveling, right? I'd be going around. Yeah, somewhere. Tyrone really has mileage on his freaking passport. Yeah, I'd be trying it around. That's tough. So I'm about to go to Italy, September 10th. Yep. If do we have any Italians? Do you know of? Uh, we speak? have a good amount. It's probably like. I would say 10, maybe. I don't know if we have any more, but we did. Spaghetti. So. Oh, I thought he was actually about to go in. <laughs> nah, I really. I was about to say wee oui, wee. Oui. That's French. <laughs> then I was about to say uh, bonjour. If you go to. The first thing you got to try in, in Italy is the pizza. I think it's going to be ass. You think so? I, I'm you, convinced that the pizza over there is going to taste like tomato sauce. Uh, and like not really cheese. not that much cheese yeah and they're not gonna really make you know like the bottom's not gonna be that hard you yeah, know what i mean you watch I, uh dave portnoy uh-huh you know he does the one bite the pizza. pizza yeah everybody knows the rules take a bite yeah bro i feel like his pizza ratings are great but i feel like if we go to italy it's not gonna be great yeah i feel like because we're it's like americanized so we got like american pizza. i feel, I feel like it's gonna be like it's gonna be like some like 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 the dough is gonna be too soft you know you want your pizza a little crispy you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah yeah. Be- because like you know over there they don't even have chicken alfredo like that's not an italian thing that's an american italian thing like they have spaghetti and meatball like marinara but they don't have like alfredo and like they don't have alfredo alfredo sauce is not like italian i think i need spaghetti i they- need spaghetti i need pizza i need i went to france when i went to france last year yeah i had um what's it called i had french fries and i had french sauce French fries is not from France. It's from, I think, Belgium. I think. I didn't have French fries in Belgium, but I did have beer in Belgium. Okay. <laughs> okay. Beer. Okay. Okay. People. But must London. Yeah. Went to London. Every single day. I was there for three weeks. Every single day I had something to do new. Yeah. Tyro was convinced me, me and Jay to go to London, by the way, people. Try, I'm saying, if you want to go somewhere, you're like, I want to go to Europe, but I don't know where to start. London. You could take the train to different countries out of there. At any, How like, much is the train? Do they so use... Ameri- for, it's not American dollars. No, right? it's euros. Oh, euros? Yeah, and they got bread over us on that. Oh, really? Like, it's, But they don't have a military. Lame ass. <laughs> but anyways, but... Um, freaking... Uh, yeah, it's like 90 euros. 
Oh, okay. it's not that big of a difference, but it's a little different. Wait, where do they sell? What about pounds? Is that a thing? Ah, uh, pounds too. I don't. Or maybe it's pounds. No, it's pounds in London, and then everywhere else is your. Personally, I just use my American Express. I don't really know. Oh, like what the thing? Oh, use my credit card. I don't really know the difference. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. But so, I when you get there, I went to Paris. There and back was like seventy. Oh, really? On the um, Eurostar, it's like the Amtrak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Belgium, there and back was like ninety. How much? How far is Belgium? Belgium, it was like a three and a half. Oh, so you was there? You went? You took a three hour train ride? Yeah, three and a half hour train ride, Belgium. Mm-hmm. Then I took uh to Paris was like two and a half, something like that. Oh, I, I made the times wrong a little bit, but bite me. So, <laughs> it was, so some like it was somewhere around there, but um, yeah. super dope. London, something to do. And I tell you, it's like the. I don't want to say the culture, but it's like life is, you can feel the, the aura of life being different. So for example, uh, this is partially, this goes into a little bit of why I hate fat people. So follow me, right? I'm, I'm leading, bro. Oh, I'm following you, bro. So escalators over <laughs> there, you hop on an escalator. If you're standing on the escalator, you stand on the right. Yeah. If you're going up or down, like you're trying to move like you're in a rush, you go on the left. Yeah. It's common knowledge. This is that is something that is a social norm. Everybody's on the same page. I did about. not know that. Yo, yo like I so, would stand dead middle, bro. When I come here to the yeah, because in the states we're fat ass slobs. We don't want to fucking move. Oh, <laughs> so when I I remember coming back here and I'm in the airport and I'm on the escalator and I'm like, bro, what is he doing? You on the left side, wrong side? But I'm like, ah, shit. I'm over there by day three. I because I was standing on the left side and then people were like, excuse me, they weren't saying nothing, but they're just like. Like, you know, trying to, like, kind of get by me. And I'm like, oh, my bad. Side to the right. And I yeah, realized yeah, yeah. it's like a single file line. I should have took a picture. It's perfect. Wow. So efficient. <laughs> if you're chilling, you're on the right. But if you're in a move, mm-hmm. you're on the left. Mm. Whereas, like, you go in the subway. So our subway's here in New York and shit. They don't got escalators. Yeah, no. But over there, their subway's got escalators and shit. They can move up and down and shit. What do you mean? Like, in the train? No, no. In the train is OD. I was going to no, say. No, I'm saying going to the, the subway station. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They call it the underground. Uh-huh. A little corny, but yeah, <laughs> like get a better name. But um, there's that, and then also over there, it's just like portions are smaller, but you still get filled. Everything about it, just like so. I'm I'm going to get food. I don't want to say people are nicer or anything like that. It's just you can feel how it's like different. you're somewhere else. I don't know. It could be first time. Yeah, like first time uh, bias, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like. Every type of food is available. Did you ever have... But not every type of food... Like, you know you go to New York? Yeah. You can find every type of food in New York. Yeah. But depending where you're at... Like, if you're in Greenwich Village, you probably... They'll look nicer. Yeah. But you go to Brooklyn... It's not... It's going to look like... is The trenches. Yeah, it's going to look like Penn Station a little bit, right? (laughs) Over there, every spot you can find food, most of the spots, they don't... If it looks like the trenches, if it looks ass, it probably is ass. Oh, really? Where my hotel was before I got with my class... I was like, oh, what's that? Oh, that's a little, um, I think it was Indian food or something like that. Yeah. And I went in and I'm like, nigga, there's bums in here. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, let me try the pizza spot. I'm like, bro, the same niggas working there in it. Like, it just looked weird, right? <laughs> yeah. And then I realized and I was like, ah, uh, I was like, I don't know. I ate it. Worst food I had there the whole time. Oh. Uh. And then I went to actual, like, I left that spot. It was everything, everywhere in London I went. Like, it was just. Amazing. Ah, okay. And then I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm a tourist, so I'm like trying to see how they are. They're like, oh, you're you're new. Oh, yeah, you're American. Okay, cool. Nice people. Everything was great. I love London, and it's so much to do. Bro. Did you try Nando's? Did I try Nando's, nigga? I love Nando's. Nando's is busting for real. Nando's, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, love Nando's. That's like the freaking Chick Fil A of uh, bro. the UK, bro. So what kind of food is it? I had Nando's like four times. Really? Is that busting? Busting. Wait, what kind of food is it? Is it like... Nando's is like... It's not like fried chicken, right? Nah, they have grilled chicken. They have, It's like... I don't explain it. Fish and chips. I refuse to call it chips. Y'all lame as hell. Chips are literally these shits, bro. <laughs> these are chips, bro. I'm not going for it. But... I forgot what they call... I think they call those... um Crisps. Crisps. There you go. They call it crisps. <laughs> That's bad weird. I don't I'm like literally that. there, yo. Can I get some um, fries on the side? I was like, okay, so chips on the side, fries. <laughs> I don't want chips. Hey, bro. Anyway, but they were like, um, everything there is like real good in terms of 
It has, they have fries is good. They have yeah. chicken is good. Their service is good. Is it really that good? Like, you can order it or you can have them bring it to your table. There's a server. You don't tip. You don't tip anywhere. Like, you don't need to? Oh, I need to go Tipping there. Tipping is rude. I need to go there because I ain't gonna lie. I, I don't like, okay, I don't. Now, not, when I, I went to, I wish I went out to drink more alcohol at a bar or more. Yeah. But when I went to this one, excuse me, bar, this club. Which I didn't like because it was like, you're allowed to drink at 18 there. Yeah. And like. There was little kids in there. So like, there's 18 and 19 year olds in that motherfucker. Like, uh, I'm 23, 24. Yeah. Like me and my home, we're there and it's like, ah, it's cool. But I'm like, eh, lame as hell. Let me get up out of here. You feel like, yeah, I wasn't like able a... to tip I, or not wasn't able to tip, but like, I didn't try to. Uh, so I they might have. I don't remember if I did. So they I think remember. it's rude to tip? Mm-hmm. They don't, because they get paid. Mm. You don't tip, um. Is it included? You don't, you don't tip... Uh, let me think of a job, bro. You don't get tipped working at the dome. That is true. You know what I'm saying? Because you're paid. You're an hourly. Yeah. Waiters get tipped because they don't get paid. Right? They get paid off of tips. I, that's a taxi, freak. Taxi drivers don't get... They get tips because they don't get paid. Yeah. Oh, they don't get paid a lot. They get like $3 an hour. But there's no way that's freaking possible, bro. I used to be a waiter, bro. It's possible. How much you, how much you made as a waiter? Well, side note. Yes. My best friend owned the place. Uh huh. So I was getting an actual hourly and my tips. But nevertheless, when, like, at the actual rate, it mm-hmm. was like $3 an hour as a waiter. $3 an hour and then your tips. So, like, but you're waiting two tables. You can wait two t- tables an hour. They order $60 worth of shit and they give you 10%. You get $10. If 10, usually it's 18 to 20. Yeah. But they tip you 10 each and you just sat t- two tables and it was an hour for them staying. All right, that's another. That's twenty five, thirty dollars. Wow, I'm really bad because I don't give them. I don't give no tip like at all. Gay. Okay. No, Nigga like don't be giving tip. Like, <laughs> but no, oh. you. But I tip every time, and I always do twenty, twenty five, even thirty really? percent sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay. Like, say me and Jay go to like Yard House or like go to like Chili's. I'll give him like two dollars. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Is he serious? Yeah. Why don't you tip people? <laughs> because I'm thinking they make like twelve dollars. They don't hour. make money. They literally like. I'm not gonna even lie. Like the last two years at South Beach, waiters didn't make because we get t- like people tip well at South Beach because they order a lot of food. Yeah. It was there was no hourly. It was just you're here. You don't even have to clock in. You're here. You're all right. You got these. But things. like, what is the po- like? Well, why don't they get paid? Because we tip well in America. <laughs> so like, or not? Yeah, not you. You piece of garbage. But, like, that's why, like, if somebody's working at Ruth Chris, like, you see, like, there's people who work at, like, a nice restaurant, and they're, like, old niggas. Yeah. Like, your mom at that age. <laughs> like, why why are you being a waiter, bro? They don't get paid. No, they're making bread, because you're not going to Ruth Chris unless you're going to spend a band. You know what oh. I mean? Oh. So, it's like, for example, there's these African people that come there, right? Yeah. They come sit at the table. We know, I don't care whose section they go in, we split in the tip. Yeah. They come in there, they spend eight, I'm, this is not an exaggeration. They come there to spend eight thousand dollars, thirteen thousand. It'll be like fifteen of them, God. but they're spending. They're buying bottles, food, everything. Yeah. Oh, take a shot with us, everybody, right? Then you split that tip. The tip is now eighteen percent, twenty percent of eight thousand dollars. Nigga, break bread with the whole family, bro. That's not just for you sitting there. Because <laughs> multiple people are helping you too. But wait, regardless, though, they do don't. It. They're not getting bread. Wait, what's what's eight? Wait, you get ten percent? No, no. 18%? 18 percent, eighteen or twenty. Yeah. What's that? Wait, do the math. I don't got a I calculator got here. Eighteen percent of of eight thousand. Uh, let's go eight thousand times point two zero. Twenty percent is one thousand six hundred. I'm so bad. <laughs> but look, say you go for a meal. Yeah. You and Jay go out to eat. Maybe it's let's throw. Dang, it, that's bread. Make it a hundred dollars. Right, a hundred. You gotta go out somewhere nice to eat, whatever. Some regular, you know, Swahili village. Yeah, yeah. One hundred twenty dollars, right? One twenty times twenty percent. Oh, I did it. One twenty times. We should be able to do this. We have college degrees. I know that's so bad. I think I, it's like it's like. Wait, wait! Don't tell me! Don't tell me! Do not tell me at all. This guy's bad. I, I, know, you know? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't tell me! Don't tell me! Twenty percent. Wait! Don't tell me at all. Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen dollars? 
Twenty percent of one. What, what was your thinking? No, no. Walk me through how you got to fifteen percent. <laughs> no, no. Twenty. One hundred and twenty dollars. One hundred twenty dollars. And twenty percent of one hundred and twenty. So I'm thinking. So look, this is what I do. Twenty percent. If I do to one hundred percent, that's one fifth. So I'm thinking one fifth of one twenty is not fifteen, but it is twenty. <laughs> Is it twenty? No, it's not. It's not. Tw- it's less than twenty, though. Yo, you just explained to me why you were wrong. <laughs> yo, dude, yo, it's not less than. Bro, what is it? Twenty four. I was about to say twenty five. Fifteen is crazy. I know dog. fifteen was wild. I that, thought it was. You less. didn't even think. Like, I, th- <laughs> I thought it was. Like, like, if you said twenty. I'd be like, all right. At least you tried. Yeah. Like, nah, that's od. So twenty four. Twenty four dollars. Now look, say. No waiter is serving just one person. Yeah. Serving you, that person, that person. Say they're serving four tables. They each spend $120. Four times 24. That's like what? 80, 24, 90, 96? 96. So $96 in one hour. Yeah. Wow. That's like during a- the busy hours. During the down hours, you might only be saying maybe one or two tables. One hour and really? Nine, I nine, thought this whole I thought this whole time. But I, you fucking up they groove because now they sit in four tables and instead of them getting ninety six, they're getting freaking two dollars. <laughs> and now it's like, yo, bro, what am I at work for? <laughs> I was being so nice to this fucking guy and he's being an asshole. I'm like, bro, I brought food out. He didn't even like this shit, sent it back, got something changed. <laughs> feel me? He wanted a refill. Wow. I gave him a free refill. He wanted cool. No, no, no. He wanted, I, he wanted to substitute they, his fries for sweet potato <laughs> fries. We don't even do that. But I looked out for him. Why? Because I'm earning my tip. If we do that, if they do that, of course I tip them. I give them like... $5. Five. <laughs> he said, all right, I got you. Let me give you five means. Like, yo, 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 yo. Bro, start tipping them, bro. This is like, you're... Yeah. Wow. I'm yeah, the, the epitome of scum in America. Yeah, bro. Dang. I feel bad, bro. I really didn't know that was a thing, bro. Yeah, you suck, bro. Oh my but yeah, gosh. you don't have to tip over there, bro. They don't worry about that. They, it's already they get paid on an hourly basis. But what I don't like, I was gassing y'all up. Y'all actually suck. Yo, their infrastructure for like, I never been so more proud of America, bro. <laughs> because their infrastructure for like life, I hate. What do you mean? So I went to like the the best hospital in London. Yeah. Because I'm in public health for people that I don't know. So like, we're learning about um, HIV prevention and um, AIDS and stuff. They have a lot of good initiatives, but. The yeah. problem is their best hospital mm-hmm. looks like St. Michael's. St. Michael's, for people that don't know this, in Newark is one of the worst hospitals in Newark. So <laughs> that's where you go if you, you get like, shot. Yeah, like yeah. more of the the homeless people need help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if a homeless guy gets sick or yeah, get hit by yeah, a car, he and ends up sent- there. There's like homeless people just like chilling out there, like vibing. Yeah. But my point is right. <laughs> yeah. And it was bad in terms of like it's not un- it's unkept, but that's because here we pay healthcare, with us paying healthcare. Oh, we get better stuff. We're able to like make state of the art things. Yeah. So. Oh, over there. I mean, they don't. They, I mean, they do. They have health care. Health care over there. Yeah, they're free health care. Oh, they do. Yeah, but doctors were on strike when I was there. Oh, there so. were doctors over there. Like, we want more money. How much Imagine was- going to med school <laughs> for fourteen years. You finish. You're done. I'm a certified doctor, and you're making fifty, like, close in amount to Leonard. Oh. <laughs> like imagine like you and Mark Griffin make the same amount of money. How much does doctors usually make? Like one something? Like at least it gotta be six figures off rip. So what I need you to do is go and kill yourself. Full doctors make like four hundred thousand a year. Four hundred thousand? Yeah, they make like full doctors. Like before that they're gonna be making less six figures for sure. Yeah. But like yeah. Like what doctor are we talking about? Like anything? If you're a not psychiatrist uh, if you're a pediatric doctor, you probably make like two hundred thou. Wow. <laughs> Because, okay, I know you know you know Forrest Gump. No, no, Forrest though he worked with us at the, he worked with us at the Dome the the white dude. Yeah, he's he's gonna be a dentist. Them niggas, uh, no disrespect to dentists, I'm not gonna do that. But um, I heard I these them niggas get skimped. I think I heard they still get they get paid six figures though. Yeah, th- for sure. Without a doubt, there's no way you can have an MD and not get and six not get six figures. figures? Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn. I'm about to look up their salary right now. I'm on you. I think he told me around 100 something. 180K to 280K. Woo! Dang. <laughs> but you do got to be in school for 12 plus years, though. Imagine that. Oh, I would freaking. Pediatric doctor is making 223K. I lied to you. They're making 254,000. Holy crap. 
Dang. It's, yeah, and they put in the time. And they got to pay for med school. So they're paying, they also are paying their bills. But regardless, when you're full doctor, you have doctors under you. If you're a surgeon, yeah. don't even, millionaire. Stop talking. Yeah. Surgeon, goaded. Oh, you do dang. one surgery, that's 50,000. Like, but I don't want to, I wouldn't want to do surgery though. Well, you fucking slip. And yeah, I'm. I'm gonna like, be afraid. I'm. All right, yo, just uh, can you just pull this thing out of his like eye for? Oh, I'm gonna cut an artery and just. Yeah, now he's gonna bleed. bleed yeah, I'm, I don't want to be. Yo, call a doctor. I don't be. I don't want to be the cause of death, bro. Yo, somebody call help. You're the best. Per- <laughs> you're the only person who can help him. Nobody in here is a surgeon, bro. Help him. Like he wake up from anesthesia, he's like, huh? Well, and then, like, nah. Ah! Yeah, nah. I'm cooked. Ah! I'm not doing that. I'm not doing. Hell no. I'm not yeah. doing that. Yeah, but London is is tough, bro. Yeah, yeah I might. I want to go to Europe one day, bro. I like. I do want to go to Europe, but like I said, I want to. Me and JB might go to Greece one day. Cause I be seeing Greece a lot is, of Mika. I never been. I want to go. I think I'll probably go there next. I probably go to Japan next year. But then Japan. Yeah, but I, I'll go. I'm to, surprised you haven't been to Japan. I, I would think you go to Japan the more. Plane than, ticket costs. I know it's a lot of money. It's, mon, mon, it's like three. Mon, 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 it's probably like for me, probably like two thousand five hundred. Oh. Sucks. Mon, yon, yon, yeah, it's OD. But I mean, yeah. like going there, like I think the hotels aren't that expensive over there, are they? See, this is the thing. People always say, like, oh yeah, you go to DR, it's gonna be cheaper and this and yeah. Most of the time, it's really not. It depends where you Unless go. Unless you're in the slums, the Philippines because, is pretty cheap. Cause put it like this: U.S. dollar is one dollar, right? Yeah. And say one U.S. dollar is six Filipino dollars. Whatever, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. A water bottle here be a dollar. Mm-hmm. A water bottle there is still six dollars. Yeah, it's equal. It's equal, but it's like, it would you rather live in the slums where there's a nice beach and palm trees? But then if you go to the slums, that water bottle is still a dollar. Yeah, but if you're where like you should be, it's oh, be, uh, it's still gonna be yeah, a exactly, price. yeah, exactly. So I want to go to Japan too, though. Japan, I want to do the freaking uh the little the little Mario Kart race around the around the city. Oh, you're that looks so fun. <laughs> That nah, look, Japan, I really want to go. That looks but so that's funny. where most places, sometimes it's still different. Like, it's still going to be a little cheaper, so it might be $4, so you're yeah. still saving, but it's usually not that big. But I ain't going to lie. Japan, I want to go. Greece would be cool. I want to go back to Belgium. I really want to go to Germany for Oktoberfest. Oh, my gosh. This Germans guy's a know how to drink beer. But I know they do. In Ireland, too, but I... This guy's a freaking alcoholic, people. I think Ireland's next. <laughs> Yo. I just, I just want to know if they're going to welcome me, though. Cause they drink, they drink like motherfuckers, bro. They yeah, drink. But I don't know. I just Germany for Oktoberfest, they drink uh, beer out of a boot. Yeah, yeah. So I want to do that. <laughs> you just want to do that? Chug a beer out of a boot. <laughs> Chug a beer out of, chugging a beer out of a boot with the boys at the bar, is beautiful. <laughs> I'm spitting now. Hey, bro. Maybe one day. I mean, he's probably gonna go soon. Regard, Tyrone yeah. gonna he's just gonna plan a trip randomly and just go. Yeah, just skate out. Bro. But I gotta, I got some hypothetical questions for you before we go into anything in the pod, bro. Uh-huh. So I know we was talking about traveling a lot, though. Uh-huh. So I got a question about the United States. Okay. So, so say if if the United States was divided into four sections, so north, south, east, and west. So like the the border four with corners. the yeah the four corners. So look, it'd be like northeast, like the the end is like Virginia, Virginia down. Is the south so and then like from the west will be like from New Mexico over and then the south will be like Texas to like uh, North Carolina Kentucky and then on top of that I'll be north like Ohio Idaho Minnesota right yeah so say they're all say United States is divided into four quadrants and we're all at war but we can only use our bare hands no weapons so I'm talking about just straight fighting which which section you think will come out on top? Well, first off, top left is done. Uh, that north northwest, yeah, cooked. Uh, oh, like the like the west coast, Seattle. Oregon, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck uh, Montana. Like, I feel on. like the west coast, low they don't key, even have population, just straight hands. The, the west coast, like California and them, unless you like from Compton or whatever, L.A., they don't really got hands for real. I don't like. They don't think they got the hands. Nah, for but they also have Texas with them. So no, so, no, no. Texas is in in the south. I put Texas on that's the south. Southeast. That's like a. You said four, right? Yeah, so it's just east, 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 west, north, east, south. So it's like no, it's not northwest and not southwest. It's just east, south, north, and west. Oh, the south is that straight border. Yeah, let me show you. Let me oh, see. Oh, north see. is Seattle, Montana. Okay. So the north would be. Um, and east. No, I think I understand what you mean, though. The yeah. north is everything bordering the top. Yeah, anything bordering yeah, the top, and then the west would be like Oregon, California, Nevada, Utah, Idaho. 
Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado, Wyoming, and then on the north will be Montana, North Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Chicago. Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, right, all them yeah, places. Yeah, yeah. So and then I, the south will be like Texas, Oklahoma. I remember like, yeah, the south, so the the north is cooked. Is Maine in the north? We're counting them? No, no, Maine is with us. We'll keep, they're east coast. All right. Well, they're not helping. But Maine, that north is cooked. There's no, they, ah, they have Chicago though. They have Chicago. They got Chicago. They got Detroit. Chicago don't know how to fight. They only use guns, bro. They I'm thinking. In the, I'm they're thinking that the same thing. I don't think they really got their hands. For, I think, like honestly, they use so many guns, bro. Like I feel like we. Might, I feel like our area, like the East Coast, will low key come out on top with that. I think West is last place though. Oh yeah, definitely because they're a bunch of freaking pacifists and nature lovers and yeah, bro, they're vegans. All fucking progressive and shit. Like, yeah, like they're not really. They're not really like us. Yeah, like the North. Then they're third. South, maybe. Just because they're big. South or East, bro. I'm not going to lie. Texas, they... They're big dudes. Like, when I... Like, the Southern big... Like, the country niggas folk... In, niggas in Memphis. Oh, yeah, yeah, Biting yeah. niggas, bro. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean, biting? They be... Like, you feel like be tweaking, <laughs> Like bro. zombies, bro? Yeah, bro. What I the hell? Know, bro. You ever see Glorilla, bro? Nah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she looks... She got bit before, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Florida too. Florida, they definitely oh, could be biting. Yeah, yeah, I'm not even gonna lie to you yet. Yeah. Florida. There's no way the South be always South winning. South East, bro. South East, bro. I can't even jump. Well, you, we can't even fight with the with the. We could fight, but we really don't want to. Uh like it's not like they they love that stuff. They the, have nothing else to do but that. Yeah, because they don't got nothing down there. We yeah, be like, bro, oh, we, we don't need to fight, to do, bro. Like what? All right. We'll do it because we ain't pussy. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to come in last. You know what I'm saying? But like. We're going to be respectful though. Yeah. Then Georgia. Then Atlanta niggas going to have to carry a little bit. I'm telling you. I feel like it's. All right. With us, it's going to be. It's going to be the Philly dudes. We got Philly, Baltimore. I think we got D.C. too. D.C. Philly, Baltimore, D.C., New York. And Virgi a little bit of Virginia. Virginia, a little country. A little bit. Yeah. And then they going to have Atlanta, Memphis. Uh, Florida. Oh, Atlanta, Memphis, Atlanta's south. Yeah, Atlanta's south. Oh, That's Georgia. Cooked. Really? Yeah, we're cooked. But they always got guns. We're cooked. Really? Yeah, we're cooked, bro. But think they about it. No, they love that shit. <laughs> Atlanta niggas love that shit. But they, you know, all the best they start fighters for no reason. All the best fighters from New York and the East Coast. John Jones from New York. Shaq. Shaq can't fight, bro. He's Where Mike there. Tyson from? He's from, is he from Newark? I'm no, playing. he's not from Newark. That's, <laughs> that'd be crazy. Where's Mike. Uh, he's from the Northeast, though, ain't he? Let's see. <clears throat> birth place. Mike Tyson's birth. He's from New York City. He's from Brooklyn. Hold on. We got fighters. Nah, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Atlanta niggas cooked. <laughs> we got <laughs> fighters, bro. Over here. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. But the thing is, what, bro, though, Atlanta. But like, they got beefy niggas. That's what I'm saying. They're just big. Like football niggas. Football is. Down south, football. They run Alabama. Yeah. Come on, bro. Oh, yeah. Ala yeah, they, yeah. They're just huge. That's what I'm saying. But, like, you knock them out. You knock somebody out the right way. They fall in, bro. He just, they just big. Like, Texas, Alabama, Georgia, yeah. North Carolina, Florida. They all just yeah. big. Louisiana, they all big, fat dudes. Big, fat Big, fat dudes. country dudes. But they might be able to take a hit. That's the only thing. We're a bunch of, we're a bunch of athletic, strong dudes. They're just fat, strong, and durable. Like they're all built like freaking uh, Billy Bob, Billy Bob, and like yeah, they're uh, good. They're cooked. You think they're cooked though? They don't beat us. They don't do that. I'm saying, bro. They're we not in shape. Y'all niggas fat. What do y'all be eating over there? Gristle, fucking gumbo. Gr the, the gristle. Ain't that ain't that the the grill grease? <laughs> the gristle. Some that Zion Williamson be eating. I don't know. He got skinny though, bro. Don't 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 y'all Zion, bro. He's skinny now. You say actually every off season. He got a little skinnier, bro. He ain't beefy no more. That nigga not about to dunk shit, bro. He cooked. <laughs> hey, bro. They might be good this year. Freaking, um... Fuck. What was I about to say, bro? He was a bust? Zion? Do you... Nah, I don't think he was a bust. I don't think... I mean, they weren't really hype. I feel like everybody always says, like, the number one overall pick is going to be a generational player. Except this year. Like... No, nah, not every year. Zion was OD. What do you mean? They say you generation. everything. Yeah, I know. But, like, I don't think he's a bust. I feel like if he if he doesn't, I'll give him three more years. He's never played a season. I know, but I mean, 
That's it. Bro, what, I've been telling UJ this when he got into the league. That's what's going to happen. You never believed me. I oh, told you he's too yeah. fat to get. I didn't say he jumped too much. That's what I'm saying. He jumped too much and he's too big. He's like his feet gonna break down, bro. Yeah, bro. It don't make sense, bro. Like that, he's defying all laws of gravity, bro. He's too fat. Hey, man. He jumps too high and he's too fat. He tried, bro. He tried it, but I, I, I give him two more years though. I give him two more years if he's not averaging. Bust. I think he's a bust. You think he's a bust? He's a bust. <sighs> Heard it here first. Guys. I ain't gonna lie, that whole draft class kind of mid. You got John Morant. You got freak. I mean, John Morant not mid, but he's John like, Morant not nah, crash Morant's- out. Crash out. Oh, wait, Jake, you pass the buy? That second buy? Oh. Yeah. Clutch, thank you. Yeah, let me know how that tastes. That junk busting, though. No artificial sweetener. I'm telling you, bro, this, people, go buy you some. Hey, buy. If you're watching this, sponsor us because I would drink this all the time. Not this one, though. Not this specific flavor because it's not as good as I thought it would be. But that one, let me guess what you get. I told you it's busting, bro. This just. Rasp- Berry. Raspberry lemon lime by Sydney Sweeney, bro. It's a Sydney Sydney Sweeney. Wait, what? what? Sydney Sweeney? Isn't she? Ooh, that's good. <clears throat> that's good, right? What was you about to say? Sydney Sweeney. That's from um, from Euphoria. No, hold up. Euphoria. I'm in the middle of the knees. I'm trying to pay the fees. I'm about to euphoria. Euphoria. What are you looking for? Sydney Sweeney. While Tyrone looks for a picture of Sydney Sweeney, which the picture is on the body, he doesn't notice. We're going to go to a commercial break, people. We'll be right back. Prize Picks is probably one of the most fun and exciting sports fantasy apps on the market right now. I was able to win 10 times the amount of money that I put in. Prize Picks is very simple to use. All I got to do was find my players, make my picks, submit my entries. Less than 60 seconds, and I'm good to go. Whether you're a tryhard or you're just a person that loves watching sports, you can turn $1,000 into $10,000 with a click of a button. And as of July 31st, Prize Picks is now offering a new promotion for new users on the app. If you use our code NOREGULARS at sign up and you place $5 in for any picks or entries that you want, you will get $50 deposited into your account immediately. Use code NOREGULARS, that's N O R G U L A R S, at sign up and place $5 in for your first entry, and you will get $50 back instantly, people. That's N-O-R-G-U-L-A-R-S at sign up. Code no regulars. Shout out to Prize Picks. Let's get back to the podcast, baby. Gangsta. We're back. Cindy Sweeney. Yeah. Cindy Sweeney. <laughs> Cindy Sweeney. <laughs> That's that heat, bro. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that heat, bro. But you got anything you want to talk about, Ty, before we go into any other topics? Um... Because didn't you say you want to talk about something controversial? Was that Yeah, what so <clears throat> I'm here to tell the people. Yeah, Tyrone's about to get us canceled again. I've been holding this in for a long time. Most people don't know this. That's okay, man. The I think Kobe Bryant is overrated. Wow. Like, as fuck. Like, OD. I think he's just super overrated. Let why me tell do you, you believe why. that? Because I feel like Not he Kobe. does... Not Kobe. What ev- what a lot of NBA players and a lot of human beings. I just excuse me. He does what a lot of human beings and a lot of people who work hard do, but he just yaps about it. I feel I like mean, he's yeah. the he's the hardest working yapper. But and those stories about you know like yeah Kobe just wanted to kill people whatever. Yes, he wanted to kill people. Cool. And you know me, I hate Jordan because LeBron on top, but. <laughs> I think Jordan did the same shit. You, I'm. I think you could pick other people who did the same shit, but they had the spotlight. Kobe was the face now, right? Shaq yeah. was. Shaq wasn't a a. He he couldn't have been that guy. He was like, no, he's just a big goofy guy, and he's a big fun guy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But I still think like people started working hard like that because of Kobe. I mean, he had the most spotlight on him. So, of course, that's going to be your, oh, I work hard because of Kobe. But that doesn't mean but he's like, overrated, though. I think he's overrated as fuck because I got to have Mamba mentality. It's not no damn... Okay, bro, I, I have think... Some fucking th- dignity, bro. <laughs> I like, think that's just like a marketing you scheme. Worked, you worked hard because uh, of Kobe, bro? Huh? Kobe inspired you to work hard, bro? He actually did. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't got to lie. Ass nigga, <laughs> he <bro>. really <laughs> did, bro. <laughs> he really did, bro. I swear to God, he that's did. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, bro, I feel like that's like... I used to watch I Mad like, Kobe Ducks, bro. Like, for example, like I don't think anything he did was that far out of the ordinary. I think it was a little out of the ordinary, but I don't think it was that far out of the ordinary from what a lot of people do. So would you put Kobe in your top 10? 
No, nah, I still think he was nice. I think he's overrated as fuck, though. But, like, what makes him over... Is it just because they hype him his, up? His work ethic is overrated. That's what I... Specifically, nah. his work ethic is overrated. I don't think he... I think majority of the NBA players work... It's no, bro. No, nobody. Like the, like the top guys, they put in the work just like him. Bro, Kobe used to go into the gym at 4 a.m. Bro, and you know what's crazy? He still missed more shots than anybody else to ever play. <laughs> so it's but, like, you feel me? It's like, yo, he's putting in the work. Like, imagine LeBron did that shit. I mean, he did because of Kobe. He didn't do it because of Kobe. Jordan was his favorite player. But look, he just fuck with Kobe. You gotta think about Kobe it. Kobe right? was low, bro, for real. When Kobe, like you watch the you watch the Redeem Team document documentary, Mm-mm. you gotta watch that because they were all literally partying, mm. and they would come back from the club at like four or five a.m. and Kobe would be leaving to go to the gym. I and don't then, think that's out, that far out of the ordinary. Are you serious? Really, nigga? I felt the same way, and I'm I fucking play D three basketball. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like when niggas is like, yeah, you like go do, it. bro. Let's go work out. Let's go to the gym. Let's go do this. Yeah, but it's I like, ain't Kobe. I don't think that. And I think, and not only wasn't just me, I had other people that were like just regular people who I looked up to. Like my yeah. cousins who just worked hard and yeah, yeah now we're skipping this. We ain't doing that today. I mean, I guess, but they, it doesn't like, mean he's overrated. I think his work ethic was overrated. But like, I feel like there's a lot of people like, no, like who thrive off of that. No, no, no. I want to fucking, you guys are going to go to the gym. I bet while you are sleeping, I'm work. For example, when I went to the Poconos camp. Yeah. Right. Everybody in there, right? Poconos camp, yeah. the coaches and stuff. That was the biggest thing. While everybody's sleeping, you're working. Cool. I don't think they're like, Kobe Bryant did it. What a new... Oh my gosh, we figured it out. All we have to do is make a sacrifice when everybody <laughs> else is having fun. No, I don't think it was that. If you want it bad enough, yeah. you're going to do what... Like, for example, pardon me, 15 million thousand people have a podcast, right? Yeah. But... While everybody's at practice, while we're over here doing this, yo, D, um, it's lunchtime. What we about to do at lunch? We about to eat and chat and all that shit? Nah, I got to get in the grind. I'm about to edit. That's not no <laughs> newfound thing. You didn't you didn't start saying, I'm going to edit every day because Kobe used to get in the gym every day. Yeah. You edit oh. because you really, you really wanted it that bad. I you guess. like it. You like this that much. You really enjoy this part of the grind. Right, yeah. So I feel like you like when people use Kobe as like, yeah, Kobe is my, you know, what I'm saying like, you never do it like Kobe. I think it's overrated. He still worked hard. Don't get me wrong. He's one of the hardest workers. I wouldn't say overrated. I'll say overhyped. Overrated, bro. It's the same thing. No, it's not. Overhyped, overrated, overrated is like bro. because he has people, the highest. Has, people say he has the highest work ethic of anybody who ever played the game. I do not agree. You don't think so? I don't. I just believe he vocalized it. I believe sounds crazy. You can hear stories about LeBron doing the same shit. Yeah, he working was. Working just as hard. DeMar DeRozan. DeMar DeRozan talked about how hard he works and all that stuff, right? I mean, yeah, but like, I don't know where they got that from. Because I don't think Michael, yes, Jordan, yeah, I don't think Michael Jordan worked as hard. I think Michael Jordan worked as hard. No, bro. I did. First of all, Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice was one of the people who was like, shoot, I, gotta start, I want to start running faster. How do I do that? Jerry Rice used to wake up running 10 miles every day before practice. Running up in hills before practice. But he wasn't he wasn't the face. They didn't like black people back then. He wasn't the face. <laughs> Jerry Rice is known as the best receiver of all time, undeniable. Nobody can argue with that. Right? Yeah, yeah. But he he wasn't the face. He wasn't in spotlight. He wasn't a person going on the mic and talking and stuff like that. Social media wasn't busting back but then. But Kobe wasn't like that either. They just they just told Kobe stories was. about Yeah, he got in the gym. Every and Kobe would Kobe But Kobe They're behind the press. I don't fuck with y'all niggas, bro. But you know what? <laughs> Job not finished. I want to win. I think yeah, Kobe. That's how everybody feels, bitch. Like you know. I don't think Kobe don't think you're special for it. said it, but I think they said it about him because of how often he did it. Like they told stories about like how Kobe used to be in the gym for this. I that feel like other Nick. I feel like it's gassed. I feel like every, not. Yeah, it's overrated. I feel like every a lot of not everybody, but a lot of other players. Yeah, have done that as well. Really, I think. Patrick Beverly, I believe. Patrick oh yeah, Beverly. I was really about to say Patrick Beverly. I know he did. You can't, there's no way you could tell me that Patrick Beverly, Kevin Garnett, especially the defensive guys, right? Yeah. That they weren't in the gym doing that, because what that does is build your confidence. So when you're in a game, no cap, I would not be the basketball player I am now if I didn't go in the gym and do even on defense, offense. If I didn't do 600 Mikeins yeah. a day, because I'd be like, nigga, I work way harder than you. Fuck you. Yeah. Be a nigga ten times better than me. I work harder than you because I believe it because I actually put the time in. Yeah. Pat Bev, Pat Bev genuinely believes he can guard everybody in the world <laughs> because he puts the time in the gym. That's why Kobe is, but then Kobe happened to be the face. 
And he's that he's more of a mean mug. And I feel like there's a lot more people who just naturally like Kobe have no. I mean, yeah, with him. because Kobe like was at the top of the league, and like they were, act, they probably used that as like a motivational story. Because you know, media is media. They had nobody for the kids to latch onto, bro. Yeah, so it's like if Kobe t- wasn't there. Who you, you wouldn't have had nobody be like, I want to work hard like him. You weren't gonna say like Shaq. That Shaq be fucking partying, and having a blast. LeBron, nobody. LeBron was too young. Exactly. There's nobody could latch onto to be like, oh, I want to be a hard worker like him. I want to be. I want to play like him. Oh yeah, he loves. But the is game that? Now. I don't think that's overrated. Still, I think that's it's just over man. overly media hype. I think Steph Curry does the same thing. Yeah, no, no, no doubt. I think that's why. I think he was the next one after Kobe. Steph. Yeah, I think they're Kobe. missing a guy named LeBron James. No, so. but like they didn't really like show LeBron's freaking like workout because they hated him. That he's yes, the greatest and it's because ever because bro, we used to do Steph Curry drills. I don't know, freaking Kev. To, Kev remember Coach Kev? He made us do his one Steph Curry drill. It's called, it was a, so we'll be at the three-point line, right? Mm-hmm. And you have to make five swishes. Yeah, no rim. And no rim in a row. In a row. And if that's what, and I'm if you. I'm not going to lie to you. That's hard as hell. That's hard, but I'm not going to lie to you. It took me two hours to get through five in spots. In high school, niggas, I was doing that before it's like Steph blew up for yeah. the midi. Niggas, I forgot who, I think it was Jabri. He what switches? Like, yeah, he probably did. Something he was like, like "Yo, he was like, yo, we're shooting. Nah, if it hits the rim, it don't count." And I'm like, so as I'm growing up, I'm thinking, "Yeah, this is what you have to do." But I'm not gonna lie, Steph Curry, I respect. I think his work ethic is a little underrated. Yeah, it is because Kobe's a little overrated. Because you gotta think about Steph running off screens and shooting pull up jump shots from hell. That's so. what I'm saying. Kobe didn't do that. ISO, get out of my way, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna put up a bad shot. I don't. I don't agree. I still don't think he overrated. I just think maybe. Overrated. I think maybe they ethic, not his skill. His work ethic is over. I think his work ethic is overhyped. Like they they had to put a face on somebody on on that work work on that work ethic. So they overrated just, and overhyped is the same thing. No, I think overhyped is like overrated. It deals with the skills that you have. No, that's what and I'm saying. People his judging skills, your skills. Just, just his work ethic. His skills uh, perfectly rated. I don't know. Maybe his but his work ethic, like. He's the best. He's the hardest. He's a Navy. He could go and be a Navy SEAL right now. No. Nah, I don't know. He's cooked. He's not doing that. So do you think? So do you think people really like use that Kobe mentality? Not even in sports and like other day jobs. Yeah. Like like n- niggas who don't like NARPs. You wait. know what a NARP is? Non athletic regular person. <laughs> so non athletic regular people. Like I've been in like the office I work at, and they're like, there's a guy with like a Kobe picture. He's like, yeah, I love Kobe. I'm like. He just remind me every day, like, I got to grind it out to get more money and do this. I'm like, bro, you, like, <laughs> you feel no pain being here. Go get a different job. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they really, truly believe that shit, which is cool. You have some inspiration, but, like, yeah, level up, little nigga. Because <laughs> I be thinking, bro, nah, that's crazy. I mean, nah, maybe maybe it is overhyped a little just if you think about it like that, but I still, Kobe, Kobe's the reason why I became the man I am today, bro. Kobe is the reason You're why. A bad man. Uh, so it's like, seven. I yo, was, says the guy who doesn't tip people. Just <laughs> people. Just people. Just I learned that from Kobe, people. Not, Listen up. I learned that from Kobe. But uh, what else we got to talk about? Ty? Do you want actually? Since we were talking about jobs, right? Mm. I want to tell because what is your dream job? Um, I want to put niggas specifically in jail. Say no. Nah. <laughs> uh, dream job is. To be a uh, to work for the government. So like any government job, like FBI, whatever. I mean, shit, dream job for real, for real. Yeah. Yeah, any government job, but like, it really would be a green beret. You want to be a green beret? Yeah. That's that sick. Tough. You're that niggas s- is tough. I know, but like that's fuck with them niggas, bro. I'm glad. I'm glad you said might green. Even, might even be navy. Nah, uh, green beret, bro. I respect them a little more. They're actually nuts. Like you got that's like the top of the top. Delta Force is top of the top. Yeah, Delta Force. Oh, yeah, I forgot yeah, about bro. Delta Force. Yeah, I'm nice, but I'm glad you talked about Green Berets because now I have a story for you, Tyrone. Have you ever heard of the Ruby Ridge incident? No, nah, it was Ruby Ridge. So you should learn. You should look up about it because it talks about your fa- your beloved FBI <laughs> and how terrible the FBI really is. They probably did the right thing. No, they did not. <laughs> so, right? So basically, it happened in the early 90s and it was about a guy. His name is Randy Weaver. And he was an ex Green Beret in Vietnam, right? So he was ex soldier, and when he came back after the war, he was living, you know, living amongst the people. But he decided to live off the grid in in uh, Idaho with his family. So he packed up Damn. all his stuff, 
uh, and went away from the modern world, had no technology, had none of that. They lived in the mountains in Idaho. But the FBI got a hit on him thinking that he had illegal weapons up there and they didn't know what he was doing with it. So they were suspicious. So what they did, they did surveillance on him. But what they did, they didn't just put like people drive by in cars. They had people posted outside his crib every day in ghillie suits. Looking at him, watching him every single day. I know about this incident. Go ahead. Though. Do you really? Yeah, keep going. I really so, yeah, yeah. so then, right? His son, his son, and his son's best friend and the dog went out walking one day, and the dog ran into one of the guys in the ghillie suits, and the guy in the ghillie suit shot the dog, killed the dog, and then the son had a gun on him, and he shot back because he didn't know who the people were, and the guys killed his son, and then his friend also had a gun on him. He killed one of the guys in the ghillie suit. So then they all start firing, gunshots firing. They all ran back into the house. The, the the best friend, they ran back into the house. The dad, mom, they all they hid in the house and there was like a shootout. Like think about like a freaking movie movie now. Mm. And there was a standoff for hours. And then a sniper actually killed his wife. Mm -hmm. So then after like a bunch of hours, he decided he's like, he surrendered, whatever. And everybody thought it was a big success. Like the FBI gave out medals to all those people who survived that incident. And the guy went to jail. But supposedly but actually, the guy... I thought he died. He didn't die? Nah, he didn't die. Only his oh. wife and his son died. Oh, I thought he died. I thought he... Okay, okay. Nah, he didn't die. But what happened was he ended up suing the FBI because he didn't have any illegal weapons on him. Mm -hmm. So they literally just went into his crib and for no reason and killed his wife and his son. And But he sued him and he got $3 million for it. Three oh, million. he won the case? Yeah, he won the case. Because they oh. didn't do... Bro. But I'm like, first of all... I'm supposed to win the case. But like, what... like. Okay, think about it, right? You the FBI. You know, you know, there's a lot of they got a lot of information, whatever. Why are you posting at Cuz's house with a ghillie suit? He's not messing with nobody. You never know. He could be. You thought he was like maybe a serial killer or something? I just pinched a nerve. What the fuck happened to my eye? <laughs> pinched a nerve on my fucking lip and no my eye was getting watered. But um I was gonna say, I'm like, I think it's um I wouldn't mess with no green beret though. I mean, yeah, but that's the people you have to look out for. Because I'm not worried about us. If we have illegal weapons, who gives a fuck? We're not trained. Oh, so you think... Cause if your dad has three AKs, you can send a fucking city cop in here to fucking... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you send yeah. the fucking New uh, Union Police Department SWAT team come in and they'll go get it. Yeah. But Green Beret, he's trained. He's trained to go in and be able to clear an entire building by himself. Mm. Right? Those are guys you want to keep watch on. So yeah. if you go in there, if he has a whole bunch of weapons, say he's going rogue, whatever... He has, you know, his ideologies are way far fetched. Yeah. Now he's going around. Now he's like, all right, you know, I'm planning to meet once my son is old enough, we're gonna go and take over the embassy. Whatever. Yeah. So you surveil him, whatever, <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, surveillance yeah. is, right? Yeah. Now it's unfortunate his his son and, and wife died. But it's also an unfortunate uh circumstance. That doesn't that it's not like that happens all the time. Yeah. Everybody's doing their job to surveil him. They the dog came, shot him, the kid shot, they shot him back. If you're in, if you're a police, even if you're a street cop, a police officer. Yeah. If you're a security for a club and you, you're armed security, mm -hmm. at any point, if your life is threatened, you're going to protect your life. And you're supposed to. Yeah. Your job would expect you to. I so they had to shoot the kid. It's unfortunate. Free that kid, bro. It was just, it just, it just went a little left and boom, kid died. Unfortunately, the wife died, but they got trained snipers and shit like that. They got, damn, okay, shit's going left. We, all right. They may have made a mistake right. here, but that's just what happens. Not every single surveillance or mission or everything you do is going to come out perfect. Mm -hmm. That one just came out a little raw. So do you, so do you think like people that's been in like really high combat situations have like a higher chance of becoming like serial killers or like killers in they general? Already, they already are. I mean, they already. No, technically... in, my, in my eyes, they already are serial killers. Oh, you already think they are? No, I mean, because like, they, yeah, because oh, they killed know. in like war and stuff. Like, I feel like what happens is like, even if you're going military, and I've never been there, but once you are used to killing people, it changes part. Like, not even like, oh, I'm going crazy. If you're once you're used to killing, like, I've never, you know, God, like, thank God, I've never killed nobody. Yeah, it's because I never killed nobody. I don't know what it is like. If I was standing here and I had a gun, I, I'm like, I would think about like, damn. I gotta shoot this thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then afterwards, the thoughts in your head, like, yo, I took a life. I don't know how that feels. I may think right now, I'm cool. Yeah. But after killing so many people, you think about it, like, then you've been around people who died. Mm hmm So then you, now you're like, dang, that was my best friend who passed. I just killed, like, five other people's best friends. Yeah. 
it, it's something in your brain that is a little different than everybody else's. So uh, I think they're it, they're more likely to like defend themselves. Like for example, or if you've killed somebody before, somebody come in here and try to mess with you, you're more likely to kill them before somebody who hasn't because uh, you're okay. I've already done this, bro. Uh, so play with me. I'll, <laughs> I'll really kill you, bro. Because I always mm-hmm. be I be like I like watching a lot of like the um they be having like podcasts where they'll bring like guys that were either part of the like the Bin Laden thing. Or like guys, Sean Ryan? Are, yeah, I think yeah. was that his name. Wait, is that the the Sean podcast Ryan. guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah there's a bunch of military guys. On is there. he like a bald dude? I yeah, think. bald white yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'd be sitting on the couch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I see one. It was like a black dude. He was like he had like dreads. Dreads. Yeah, yeah he yeah. was in the Navy SEAL sniper. Yeah, sniper. That's and what he was dog. telling me telling about like his story and his like a uh, like a uh, point of view with everything. How like he was in like a gunfight with somebody that's like like a like a like I think like a mile away. Mm-hmm. And like the bullet drop was getting mad close, but just imagine though, a mile away, and you're it, tw- tw- just back and forth. A mile, yeah, a mile. Even you know a mile, how, bro. It takes me fucking seven minutes to run a mile. Exactly. I have to. Work. They and he was saying this guy is like accurate because he he's understand the bullet drop and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, nah, that's actually kind of od thinking that's about so it. Oh, Max. And I'm I, I can imagine like and like I remember one of the guys that I like watch uh, listen to the stories all the time. His name's uh Mr. Ballin. He actually was a Navy SEAL. Mr. Ballin. Yep. Um Mr. Ballin, bro. On YouTube. I think his name is Michael Michael Ball Ballin. I know you're talking about Mr. Yeah, Ballin. Mr. Ballin. He always wearing hat backwards and yep. shit. He be yeah. he be telling the scary stories and stuff. Yeah. He's yeah, a Navy cool SEAL. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, there was actually a story he was telling me about it was or telling on YouTube. It was like about um what was it about? It was like some scary ass story. It wasn't about. I, there was actually two, but anyways. But like Mr. Ball, he was telling his story about how his like Navy SEAL training goes and how like he had to go through all that like stuff and like even <sighs> like there was only a certain amount of people that can get put onto like Delta Force and you had to do a whole separate training. Yeah, where it's like you're dolo. Yeah. I think, and you're like, I think with like uh, the Navy SEALs, like you're with like people, so you can like get motivation from them. Like, yo, you keep going. Yeah. But like Delta Force, like you're by yourself. Yeah. So you have to find. Hard, yeah. like, it's like, like think about like you running fifty fives with the homies. Like we can motivate each other. Yeah, let's go. Come on, we gotta make it. Yeah. I make it for the bros. But then you go Delta Force is like, I can just quit right now. So you would want to do something like that. You want to be a They're literally the greatest, bro. It's the highest honor you could ever have. That is, but I don't think it's, that pain is worth. <laughs> it. I think. It I don't is. think. think it's, I mean, it. you like, love this country. I don't. <laughs> you part. You personally prioritize this country more than anybody that I know. So I don't freaking know. Think about it. The pain is always worth any pain you have to go. Like the more pain, the more worth it it is at the end. A hundred every time. Is it really though? But like, okay, you come. Okay, say right. You do your time at Greenberg. You come back. What? How has your life changed? You, I mean, you, you got benefits. So the, the the you got bodies on your head. You got freaking freaking uh, yeah, schizophrenia, but, but and PTSD. So was, yeah, <laughs> like what the <laughs> freak? schizophrenia and PTSD? Not look, <laughs> not, not look at you. You cooked. <laughs> like you got the worst possible <laughs> outcome. Yeah, but now you can go into any one of the government service jobs too. I mean, I but, guess, but but you, the thing is, it's like you go there and now it's you're doing something that, for example, I would say ninety percent to. 95% of people in America yeah feel the same way you do. Yeah. They don't want to go be green. They don't want to go and do the hard things like Oh, you want to be that 5%. That I am the 5. I'm willing to That's what I'm saying like if I had an opportunity to get all that stuff done, I got to get my masters first. But I'm saying I have opportunity to do all of those things. Being willing to do that is a very rare thing. Like I think to you're too tall to be a green sacrifice beret. yourself. Low key yeah, I don't think you. I don't think you. I don't think you're gonna survive well. You're a big <laughs> ass target, bro. <laughs> they gonna think we have super soldiers over like, here. <laughs> yeah, who is this? Wait, the Taliban, big like damn. Yeah, like if you like, say it's like a war, in, like uh, Russia, in, like the middle, of, like the tundra. Yeah, and you got like, like those... Bigfoot, <laughs> <laughs> like a Yeti, like them niggas. Like, Yo, cuz got the little. Uh, so you imagine gillies. with a ghillie on too. Oh yeah, you probably that's look crazy. You, that's the first thing a nigga would think is like that's a Yeti. You look crazy, like, bro. That's Imagine now we got a Yeti on the side. Now what's up? Hey, they bro, that shit. Exactly. I don't, I don't know, man. Yeah, bro. but that is. I, I just think you. I think you're a little too tall, bro. I, ain't gonna lie. I think you're a little too tall. But nah, bro. I just think you know, all that work is a lot of work. Like even though it is worth it at the end, mentally I'm gonna be drained. And I'm not gonna come back the same person I am right now, and I don't yeah. like that. That's the only thing. 
You gotta be prepared. It's like you remember Super Strong Steve from the YMCA? Yeah. Like he wasn't mentally tough enough to play. <laughs> you know, he remembers a super strong <laughs> Steve. He's so weird, bro. Remember, he was like the best basketball player we ever met. Like that yeah. we saw on a regular basis. Yeah, because we was yeah yeah. We was young niggas. You feel me? Yeah. He was able to like fucking East Bay and windmill dunk. Yeah yeah. And then he played college basketball for a year and then quit. And then we were like, "Why would you quit? You were so good. Why would you do this?" And he said, "Basketball's not for everybody, bro." He wasn't mentally tough enough to do it. That is true, right? But think about it now, right? You were mentally tough enough to play that shit for five years. I know. You know what I'm saying? Straight. But that's like with no hinder hindrance. In but terms. this is different, Ty. No, but I'm saying I'm saying in comparison. <laughs> this is different. You're not running for No, I'm saying in terms of like it's only for people who are mentally you were prepared. You said I'm going to play college basketball. Oh. You were mentally prepared for I know I want to get into this. Right? Okay. Okay. Super strong Steve was like, this is gonna be fun. Yeah. He wasn't mentally prepared for having to fucking do morning and afternoon practice, whatever. You were like, no, this is me. Yeah. This is what I do. He starting off, shit, a 55. Yeah, I, you couldn't make a 55. All right, shoot. Mm -hmm. I'm not in shape to make a 55 and come in first and be strong enough to do war rebounding but then after you're gonna build yourself to get there and be trained because you're like no this is what I'm gonna do this is what I wanna do uh, so okay like, that makes you know what I'm saying so you're mentally prepared like you I would never be like nah you are physically fit enough to go and be one of those people right and yeah. you have the work ethic to do it but you don't want to mm. if we put you through freaking uh, Green Beret training or Army Ranger training right yeah that's not even Navy SEALs you could probably get through if you want to but if you have no motivation you're gonna be like bro I'm not doing this shit it's going to ah, piss you off. Yeah. You know when you're mad at a 55, fuck, I got to run again. But you're like, this is me. Yeah. This is what I do. I, I hoop. So I'm going to stay. I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to quit. Yeah. You're going to go there and be like, nigga, I'm about to quit. <laughs> Fucking what I'm doing here. That's what I said for me. Nah, I want to be there. So it's like, I'm not going to quit on it. You know what I'm saying? And then you get stronger as, you know, your senior year comes up. Now you're like, nigga, 55 is easy as fuck. Stop talking to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Man. I, I, he's I, I would, he's yo, yo, that's just he's so he's much he's work, bro. That's so much work. Bro, join the men's league, bro. Come on, nah, bro. I'm actually about to join the pickleball league, bro. What's up with softball, bro? Oh what's yeah, what's up with tell. softball? J yo, we, we literally have an MVP here. Jay's gonna tweak <laughs> on us. She's going to tweak on us if we're playing ass. <laughs> yo, <laughs> if we play bad, yo, she's wait, gonna where, spaz so, on us. Jay, what, what, or me? She's what gonna position on, on defense would be the best position for me to play? It's all like first base. In general. First base. Do you think first base would be best for me? Because I mean, first base is where the tallest people oh, are. So I can, oh, when you throw a bad fucking yes, ball you can catch. Them, yes. Can, okay. Okay. <laughs> you okay, got okay, a high, bigger radius. Okay. But like okay. I'm saying, if we're playing bad. She's going to get crashed on me. <laughs> on me. I'm going to get tweaked. No, though. but I got niggas who want to play. We're going to be good. You just got to carry, bro. That's bro, all. She, she can't. Bro, you've carried teams before. <laughs> Go like, bro, this I'm is saying. not like basketball. We need everybody as a unit. Nah, if she's, bro, we're going to get at least one point every at bat because she's going to carry, bro. <laughs> like, let her bat like second. Wait, where's the league at? Where's the league at? It's in. Not matter. Not. Um, Morristown? Clifton area. Oh, I thought I was going to say Morristown. But I'm saying, like, for example, right? Her bat, like, second, maybe third, right? So maybe the first two go, they get on, then she go. I'm thinking strategy. I don't know shit about it. But you feel me? <laughs> now, if they're on base, maybe we got a grand slam coming, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey. You feel me? And then we could, we, could, we could lock in after that. Maybe. Wait, how much is it? Uh, It's probably going to be around, like, like 120 or something like that. Let's, but uh, we just... It might be even less because softball, you need more people. Yeah. So, but we just need... Right now, it would be... Six people that are locked. Damn, How many people on defense? Like Jack? not. It's like nine. Nine. Who? Aren't you? Wait, no, you're a pitcher too. Oh, we're, <laughs> no, we're literally we're goaded. How do we lose? I I don't know. I ain't be, that's what I'm saying. Is it? Oh, so you can't tweak? Yeah, she can't throw like no curve. She's got to toss it up. I don't know. Up. I feel like you. I don't know, bro. I feel like that's cheating now. I think. <laughs> bro, I if we get cooked. If it's fast pitch. There's absolutely no way. But there's no it's way a whole bunch we're of casuals hitting, though. There's no way we're hitting that. I think we'll hit. I don't think there's gonna be some Jaylene's in there, bro. Oh, that's. A <laughs> I don't think there's gonna be Jaylene's there, bro. I think oh, we'll that's win. pitching. Yeah, I don't. Th I think Yo, it's you'd be, be surprised, bro. Yeah, bro. Key. I'd be in. Okay, okay bro. Okay, okay, okay. When me, Jay, and Chris was playing this men's vo like in this uh, beach oh, volleyball league, bro. Just bro, these guys was out here like. <laughs> yeah. 
Heem. That's probably what niggas think when they play basketball. Yo, it's <laughs> bad, bro. And we be in there killing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, they just spiking it on us, bro. Yeah. And like, it's not even that. The spike's not even bad. It's the digs. They dig oh, yeah. everything. They get it. Yeah, like, yeah, even yeah, if yeah, I try yeah. to spike it, there's somebody there all the time. <laughs> and I don't get it, bro. I don't yeah, get it at all. Bro. It's so bad, bro. Yeah, but hey, maybe. But me and Jay, we're gonna try. We're trying to. You, you should sign up. There's a, there's a league. For what? It's a, it's called Volo Sports. What sport? What sport? They have every sport. They have basketball, but they play in hoop heaven. Though. I'm, about, I'm about to do a flag football league. What's up? They have flag football over there too. What y'all trying to do? Flag football. Who's quarterback? Bro, we don't need one. No, we need. I need. Say, the, no, I'm not gonna lie. Me? I play quarterback. I just What's up? you. I'll throw that. I'll throw that. <laughs> I was th- bro, I was slinging, yeah, bro. Receiver, that's a rebound, bro. What I'm saying about? that's what I'm saying. Nobody has a six eight nigga playing defense. But like, bro. I might be hella inaccurate as the Just game goes up, down. Bro. Throw it like a lot. You were bad at throwing lobs, bro. No, 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 no. The first, the first couple, the first couple like plays, I'm gonna be good throwing it down. But I'm gonna need a couple dump offs and uh, slants. <laughs> like I can't just keep chucking it downfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna get now so we inaccurate, locked, bro. We could be locked. Bro. We could. I try. I try. Black football would be cool, bro. We could. We could get a steady QB. Some. That nigga to throw it, <laughs> I let I let you know. Let me know if you're gonna sign for anything, cause yeah, we're I'm, cause there's a the league that me Jay uh, and Chris were playing. It's called Volo, and you can get a membership for like ten dollars a month, or like, well the we have a promo, so we get ten dollars a month for the first three. Oh, for all the leagues you're saying, and then if you, for all the leagues, right? Oh, you don't get it for free, but you'll get it for like fifty percent off. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, we I might do that for the pickleball, but I still got to look at it. I might do that and then join a couple. I'm saying, bro. But um, what other stuff I gotta talk about? Oh. I got so I got another um, what's it called? Hypothetical question for you, bro. Okay. So, what are the top three superheroes you can take down in a fight if you had all the resources needed to do so? No powers, just fighting. But you can have weapons, any weapon you want. Top three heroes that I could take down. That you could take down. Any any weapon you want, whatever. Not like the Infinity Gauntlet though, because you're gonna freaking annihilate yourself. No, that's, that's geek. That's geek. But like you know, realistic um. High key, I think I could take down Superman. If you give me some kryptonite. See, this is what I'm Look, about. you give me some kryptonite, he's dying. This is what we talk about. Bro. Wait, why? About, bro. Like, see, why not? It's like, here's my problem, bro. It's like, niggas graduate and then lose all their IQ. But, bro, he's bro. He's super man. But his weakness is a rock. He's super. With that, that, okay. Man. I love Superman. He's not a man. He's super. And he's not just super. He is the super. Man, I know he is the pinnacle of all superheroes created. Every superhero Only created. One nigga has killed him, bro. Two. Well, he wasn't a nigga. Yes. Dark side in him, but nigga. Bro. Batman. Exactly. Who is the best? Okay. But bro, I'm saying this. if I have some kryptonite on me, you I have all the him. resources. You don't get him. Why won't I get him? He won't even touch me. You don't me. even know how to do acrobatics, bro. <laughs> he but- literally. See, you pull that shit out. A shank. <laughs> it's a fucking kryptonite shank. He's going to laser you. Like, ah, oh, and laser you. There's nothing you can do. That is actually true. <laughs> even with the kryptonite, even with the kryptonite, he still bench presses more than you, bro. Do you understand? He's weak, but he you don't have like a suit. Or, like, he's just going to, yo, he, he will hit you with a... Re- <laughs> a regular nigga will be just, A regular nigga might kill you, bro. So you're bringing a knife to a, a regular nigga. I'm not going to tell you, if I said, yo, I got a knife for you, you got to kill somebody. <laughs> that shit still might be like 60 40. Because <laughs> imagine Superman has a knife now. <laughs> You're done. All right, what if I had uh, the bat suit? What does that do for you? You don't know how to fucking jump. <laughs> <laughs> it might work. Batman could dunk, bro. You can't dunk, bro. It might be worth It might be worth bro. But okay, if, all right, if I pick my three, I'm going to pick. Um, uh, I'll, I'll still. T- he he got me thinking about Superman, Robin, Dame the Damian. No no no, Tim Drake, Tim Drake, Tim Drake, Tim Drake. Uh, is soft. Tim Drake soft. Tim Drake soft. Tim Drake soft. If I had everything needed, if I had weapons, if I had guns, He's cocky. That's not the. Cock- you don't think there's niggas with guns who tried to kill this nigga? <laughs> what are we talking about? Tim Drake. Um, he literally fights niggas with guns. Tim Drake. That was no no no. That's a that's a. All three of them fight niggas with guns, bro. Nah, Red Hood had a gun. No, Red Hood. He fights niggas who have guns. Oh, and he has no gun. <laughs> Wait, no. I, there's somebody who else? I, I gotta think of somebody. I don't got power. Green Arrow, not Green Arrow. You literally have no shot. <laughs> there's nothing. Really? You can have, nothing you can use. Green Arrow. You can have a tank. Give you a tank. 
You still don't get him. Green Arrow with the tank. I could get Green Arrow with the tank. He fights niggas with powers. <laughs> Green Arrow. He fights <laughs> niggas with powers. If I had a turret, if I had a, autom- a mounted turret, like in Call and of Duty. And he has a brick wall. <laughs> you know, why would he have a brick wall? You First of all, you're walking around with a mounted turret? How? Impossible. <laughs> so you mount the turret. Okay, he's going to walk out of that building in five seconds. I'm going to go to the top of this building. <laughs> you start shooting? Yeah. <laughs> He's acrobatic. He hides. He goes inside in the building. Now what? You're cooked. Because you don't know what floor he's on. Collateral damage. Now you got cops coming for you. All he has to do is, all right, it's easy money. Oh, he's right there. All right, hold on. Break the window. All right, cool. Let me just. Falcon. Headshot. Falcon. I don't want Falcon doing me dirty. There's no. Fights, niggas. There's no heroes that we can take. Guns. What heroes can you. You're not so low. I was going to say Hawkeye or Black Widow, but they literally. (laughs) <laughs> fight niggas yes. with guns. They do fight, yes. And they're fine. And those niggas have training. Star Lord. He don't really fight for Star Lord. Now we're on the right track. You he don't really fight for real. The only reason why I say you're on the right track is because you gotta catch him lacking. Yes. Catch him lacking, stab him in the neck. Exactly. Star Lord is cool. Maybe. Okay. The mother niggas. Rocket? That little that little raccoon? No, I don't think you could grab. I don't think I'm not gonna lie to you. A, ra- a real raccoon walks in here. I don't think you get him. <laughs> and the raccoon comes out victorious. No. I think you walk out of the room, but the raccoon's here and you're scratched up. You're like, ah, I get a call exterminator. <laughs> like I don't think, yeah, I don't think it works. But I don't think okay, you okay. Who else? We hey. got we got Star Lord. They're gonna cook us in the comments, but I don't care. This is my opinion, and this is all jokes, people. I don't care what none of y'all booty nerds and geeks are talking about. He's dead ass. Um, <laughs> Star Lord. I'm trying to think of somebody else. There is um, nobody from X Men, except no, 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 no. There's nobody in X Men that's possible, unless you want to talk about and um, beat. Nah, Beast. Hell no. I'm not. I'm not finding Beast. Banshee. He's mid. All he does is scream. Nah, he's gonna hurt my I'm ears. To, I'm about to say Deadpool. <laughs> Why Deadpool? Deadpool. Deadpool is killing you. Catch him lacking. Cut his head off. But how? Okay, now that's the exact same thing with me and Superman. How are you go catch him lacking? You catch him lacking. He's still strong. Deadpool doesn't have powers besides regenerating. I know, but like he's not going. You're not gonna catch. He can still fight. He knows how to fight. Yeah, but like I'm walking to Walmart while he's working at Walmart. I walk by. I just pull out a machete, cut his neck off. But I don't think you're gonna. I don't think you're strong enough to get one actually clean swipe yeah, of his head. Again. Yeah, you're cooked. So you're gonna actually. You have to chop him like a freaking like a like. Nigga just call me weak. <laughs> it's all good, bro. Um, Star Lord. Well, Loki. It might be most of the people from Guardians of the Galaxy. If we're gonna be honest. Nah, there's nobody else. Gamora. You can kill. Not them. even a fucking shot. What? She's stronger, more agile. You can kill her with a gun. And she has fucking swords and shit. You, <laughs> kill her with a gun. you can she kill her with a gun. She fights lasers. She'd be ducking lasers. You All right. Uh, Zuri. Uh, what's what's that girl with the uh, iron iron heart? Whooping the ass. Take her out. If she don't got that suit on her, she'd cook. Now, now, we're, now we're talking. Now we're, yo. I like the way you're going. Iron heart. Cooked. And then last one, it got to be somebody that is actually... Spider-Man. You're not being Spider Man. Spider Man is cooked. You're not being Spider Man. Why, why are you? You're not being Spider Man. Bring this nigga to the desert. What does that have to do with anything? He can't do nothing. What do you mean? <laughs> what, Sp- do you think? what is he going to swing from what? He don't need the to sand? swing. He still got Spidey sense. Okay. What? He's in the desert. Okay, he's in the desert. If I find a way to get him to the, to the desert and I have a gun, there's nothing he can do. <laughs> nothing. He can literally, he's dodging all the bullets. All of the, you can't. He, he literally, he's not going to be able to dodge everyone. He's going to dodge like four. I think he, I, I have a fucking LMG <laughs> in the desert and I just let it in a circle in a, in a line and then he can't dodge nothing. He's cooked. Uh, there's no way. He can't desert- do, what is he going to do? Shoot a fucking web at me? <laughs> Maybe. That's not going to do nothing. I feel like he can add I bullets. I feel like he can. And like you like you said, Spider-Man don't get like shoot, like get attacked with people with bullets. Yeah, but they, they he can swing and jump and do all this stuff. Yeah, he can only jump up. <laughs> he's just doing it. Niggas on a trampoline. But he's like, cooked. but like, okay, deserts still have rocks and like no, the sand, the just, desert straight. Like sandy you're just talking desert? about Sahara Desert, like yes. in Egypt. If I get him out to a sandy desert, this nigga going on a fucking field trip <laughs> to the fucking sea. 
He's cooked. There's nothing he can do. <laughs> There's no way. There's nothing he can do. There's no. It makes a lot of sense. I'm not gonna lie. Nothing I'm actually very impressed how much that makes sense. But I don't yeah. want that to make sense. And it, my it, Superman it, don't make sense. Superman doesn't because Superman can fly. <laughs> <laughs> you pull out a thing. Oh, get off of me! Unhand me. He push you away. Now you gotta catch up to him. First of all, <laughs> he push you away. You like fall back. Yeah. He's gonna run away. <laughs> Once he gets at least ten meters away. What were you saying? You're cooked. <laughs> what if I have our uh, Captain America shield? What, fuck is, what the fuck is that gonna do? Block and then I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the throw pieces of freaking crypto at like rock. Throw. <laughs> is he gonna catch him? <laughs> he's gonna catch. It's not no, gonna he's gonna. Him. He's like ah. And then when he gets <laughs> weak, I'm gonna step. Get, get the big he's one. Gonna catch it. Just ah. Uh. <laughs> he's just gonna. He's getting me. Ah. Uh. It's, Yo, it hurts. It's literally not going to happen. He's held kryptonite, bro. Like, he, he's literally just gonna make Can we beat Batman? Not even... A, come on. All right, bro. We can beat one of his kids. Batgirl. None of them. Batgirl? The Bat family's cooked. No, we can't cook them. Really? Not, none of, not one. Not one. <sighs> not one, bro. You're done. Spider-Man. Uh, what's his name? Guardians of the Galaxy nigga. Uh, Beast Lord. Boy. Maybe? No, never mind. Never mind. He he's gonna kill me. Beast Boy is going to kill me. I, I just said that because I, I can't even kill I can't kill Beast Boy. That's my favorite that's one of my favorites, bro. I love Beast Boy. My brother in Christ. Yeah. <laughs> that young man can turn into a raptor. I know. He could turn into Godzilla. He can turn into a lion. And eat me. There is absolutely nothing you can do to him. <laughs> To face him, <laughs> this has know. to be a way. There has he to be. He could turn into a a a, a, a rhino. <sighs> Aquaman. Is that pot? No, nah. Aquaman's another desert guy. Oh, you put him in a desert. But he you might. I don't think bullets could penetrate his skin. Though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think the bullets so are gonna work. He's good, but the desert. But he would never go to the desert. That's what I'm saying. He, he knows no better. Re- yeah. He knows better. He knows not to go. He's not stupid. <laughs> Absolutely. <right. laughs> he's not, he not stupid. He's not stupid. Why would he do that? Why would he go there? Dang, bro. I'm trying to think. Beast Boy. No. I was going to say he turned into a little Star-Lord. monkey. Star-Lord. Star- okay, so Star-Lord. And Spider-Man, bro. Star- Star-Lord, Spider-Man, and Ironheart, I guess. Ironheart, yeah. She's cooked. She's dead as fuck. That's crazy. So you gonna take Spider Man to Africa, the African desert, and just have him sit out there? Or fuck, I take him to the Arctic too, where it's cold. That, what if he has a Spidey suit that's like has the mechanical arms on it and stuff? Then you might be cooked. That one's bad. That that one has wait, so here's the thing. that one has built in things. Oh in it. wait, the mechanic that one yes actually is made out of metal, so I can't shoot through that. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> So you might be cooked unless it's like early year Spider Man, like first first nah, amazing. He don't got Spider-Man. that shit. He got rid of that shit, bro. Oh, so you he got the the new suit, bro. Yeah, he's cooked. I mean, I'm cooked. Yeah, he doesn't. I was just there has to be there has to be one more person. If I had all the resources needed, even if I had even if I had like a small army, I what think. What am I talking about? Captain America. Oh, there you go. That's he's a good dead. one. He's so dead. But nah, he might beat you up for real. Like he's him. not. He would. He would never even get fucking close. Wait, why? Oh, he's, he's not bulletproof. Oh, <laughs> he go keep shooting at him. Yeah, but he, he got that shield on him though. I'm shooting legs. No, nah, when he fucking walk, he don't walk around with that shield everywhere. Oh, so you're gonna catch him? Catch him wagging. Oh, you're <laughs> oh, you're sni- we're sni- he oh. could run and dodge and do all the good stuff, and I could do this all day, nigga. First of all, shot bound. And he, there's no talking. <laughs> first of all, shot. I'm shooting him center mass. Boom, boom, boom. He's like ah. Oh. What's going on? Now he's trying to fucking figure shit out, and I'm just... He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> so we're sneaking everybody. Yeah, there must be snow. Okay. Except for Spider-Man. We bring him out to the dead somehow. This is we, make gotta, a fake... we gotta get him out to the dead. Like, you ever watched um, uh, Escape Room? Watch that movie, Escape Room? Remember how, like, they got put on a plane at the end? Yeah. We're gonna do that with Spider-Man. We're gonna have an illusion. Like, uh, how a... Myst- uh, what's that? Mysterio? Had, oh, like, I didn't see that Escape Room one. Oh, at the end, the the end credits. Yeah, Yeah, the end credits thing. We're going to have him go on like a plane, and really, he thinks he's going to Europe. He's going to freaking Africa, bro. Going to the Sierra Leone, bro. Africa. Put that nigga in the middle of the water. Oh, like in like the ocean? Put him in the Arctic. Next time you hop on a plane, he's Mm. done. What the fuck he going to do? He can't even jump over there. That is true. I'm on a boat. Just 
I ain't gonna lie, he might be cooking up again. I don't know. Spider Man is the ass, bro. He's not the asses. Nigga don't got he's no. not the worst, bro. There's way worse superheroes. He got plot armor. That nigga. He do have, but he's just so cool, bro. He, he's not even that cool. He bro. literally fights and nigga thinks a minor is cool, bro. This nigga's a kid. Nah, bro. I'm talking about the older Spider when he gets older. And he's 24. Cool guy, bro. Nigga, cool guy, bro. <laughs> but I got a, I got another story to tell you about, bro. Right. I, it's about animal attacks, though, bro. Okay. So I thought about this story because, in my mind, right. I always wanted exotic pets, right? Odd. Like, you never... Like, one of my biggest things I want, like, in my crib, like, when me and Jay get a crib and house and stuff, whatever, I want... There's a th- there's a giant rabbit that you can buy. It's a giant rabbit. It's this big. Just imagine you walk in my crib, and there's, like, a giant bunny. Jug is fire. I want a big dog. I just want he something... He can bite you and actually do... No, 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 real, no. Real they're, they're they're lovable animals. They're like dogs. He can do real damage. He could, but like he's not because he's gonna enjoy his. T- I'm gonna treat him well. I forgot what the bunny's called. I also want a wombat. Wombats are cool animals. They look like it's like a giant. You know what a wombat is? It's like a like a, a look. A look. Think of like a it look like a Jigglypuff. Not Jigglypuff. It looks like a it look like a Pokemon. Fat Pokemon. Like a Snorlax. Oh, these these niggas is cool. They look cool, right? You're not going to get one, though. I know. It's impossible. But, so, right? Have you ever heard of the uh, King Bruno Ape Attack? <laughs> no. Nah, this is... Just, nah, I ain't going to lie, bro. This joke is OD. Like, this is actually, like, real-life Planet, uh, Planet of the Apes, bro. So, there was a freaking... um. So, there was a... In the... I think it was... In the early 2000s, there was, like, a, a chimpanzee sanctuary for like orphanized chimps because at the time there was like a war it was in uh, Sierra Leone in Africa Sierra. so at the time there was a war going on between some of like the the neighboring nations so like a lot of the people were killing the chimps and a lot of them the chimps had like kids so instead of having the chimps you know live in the wild by themselves they're gonna die they took them in they created a sanctu- sanctuary in Sierra Leone and they had like I think like 30 to 100 chimps in there like little baby chimps but they all grown up so there was a time where it was in the early, I think it was 2006. It was two, two locals from Africa and there was three Americans that they were um, uh, contractors that they were, they were uh, creating the U.S. Embassy like a couple miles down the road. Mm-hmm. So they, they all decided to go there as like a vacation, like, you know, like a, like a, like a, like a trip, like, you know, just to see like a, as tourists, or whatever. So on this particular day, 30 chimps got mm-hmm. out. No way. Yes, literally 31 chimps got out of their cages and they were running around going crazy, right? So now, literally, the guys are all panicking, whatever, because the chimps is like biting people. They're going into the jungle. So now they hop back into their taxi. They didn't have guns yet, did they? No, they didn't have no guns. They're just contractors. So they're literally, so they're driving off, right? So they're driving off, and at the middle of the road is a six foot, 270 pound chimp named Bruno. And that was the biggest chimp that they had. He escaped. Like, you remember, you know, playing the apes? Like, chimps aren't that big. They're, like, five feet Even tall. Gr- gorillas are only, like, 5'10". Yeah, gorillas not that big. But, like, a ch- imagine a chimp standing upward at six foot, 270. He's just waiting at the at the gate like this. And then he starts charging at the car. He bangs on the car. He breaks the window open. And he grabs one of the guys. He bites his finger off. And the guy's like, yo, drive, drive. He, he's driving. The monkey's in the car. Biting this guy's finger. He bit three fingers off. He bit his foot, whatever. And the guy drives. He crashes the car. He ends up crashing the car. He knocks himself out. And everybody... No, he doesn't knock himself out. But everybody just scatters. They run into the jungle, whatever. Except the, the taxi driver. He runs... He's running into the jungle, but he runs into some chips. And they kill him. That, yeah, they ripped his arms. Bro, shit. I'm like, nah, that's OD, bro. I'll be so scared. Because, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Like, like I would... like. There's people that have monkeys as like pets, like actual chimps, but I would not want that as a pet because they really will bite your face off. Nah, if they snap, they'll really like really go crazy. crazy. Yeah, if they snap, they like eat you and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a new documentary out on uh, HBO Max. About what? It's about um, a woman who has like exotic pets, and she has she holds like she has like chimps, but like she'll feed them like junk food and stuff, and like she I think she has like ten like ten full size chimps in her crib. And, like, she worked with a guy who did, like, parties and stuff. So, he would bring the chimps as, like, a party thing and bring them to the kids. And, like, in the first video, you see the chimp grabbing the kids and, like, throwing them around and stuff. And the guy actually, one time, like, you see his face. Like, his nose is, like, messed up because the, the chimp bit his nose off. 
like before. And he still brings him around. And he still brings him around. Yeah. But like he has like stitches right here because the, his whole nose came out. Like he had to, his wife had to pick his nose off, off the floor and he had to get stitched back on his face. That's how bad it was. But that's what I'm saying. Like these, like they're really, they're really cheat codes. If they were a lot smarter, they could really do us dirty, bro. If they were just a little bit smarter, yeah. they would really do us crazy. Like just imagine, Let bro. Them learn how to use a gun or cook. Yeah, I know, bro. But I, <laughs> like just, I know there's there's probably a bunch of incidents like in like maybe like in third world countries where they're like in the army and they probably have like you know have like see like a monkey and they give them a gun by accident and they just start shooting and kill people. But I, I know that definitely happened one time. Like I used to, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Twitter has a lot of sick like army things. I remember I used to see, yo, know, there was a video, it was in Afghanistan, it was like, oh, is it Afghanistan or like Syria or something, it was in war, and there was a guy, he had an LMG, he had his hat turned backwards, he was just like this, he had a cigar in his mouth, he said some, and he's laughing, joking around, and just shooting like this, whatever, and he's like, ha ha, and then a sniper, boop, killed him, killed him, he just, he literally turns around and starts like, look at these guys, two, done, and then there's Nah, this is not funny. There's another one. I think it was the Taliban. Oh, he's a cool bro. So there was in like the little Humvees or whatever, and uh, it was like a, one of the Taliban. He had a phone. He was like he was like doing a selfie. He's like yo, and like the guys in the back. There was another Taliban car, like another Taliban truck in the back. Yeah. And it was like he was like yo, look at like, yo, what's good, everybody? And I guess they ran over a landmine, and the thing went boom. And he was like, and like you see his face. <laughs> I think I saw that video. And he was like, oh. Bro, like, he was like, he was like, oh, oh, and he turned around. But it's like, bro, like you see like bodies flying, like legs flying out. <laughs> I'm like, nah. Like just imagine your boys like, yo, what's good, man? And they just you. blow up. That's blue. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. We was talking about a lot about the army. How do we lose in Afghanistan? No, nah, we if we're fighting people, oh, we didn't lose. No, nah, we we never we just lost. gave up. We lost in Vietnam, but we ain't never lose, bro. We're nice. But why do we leave all our stuff over there? Oh, this is on purpose. Bro. No, no, no. Like, we didn't leave all our stuff. We left stuff over there because, like, we wouldn't get out of there. Bro, it was all... We have... We are... You know, I don't understand. We are so wealthy. It's like, yo, why'd you leave your whistle in the locker? <laughs> that's not... Because, I gotta get another whistle. That shit cheap. Bro, that's my that's my tax dollars. I'm paying for that. No, I know it's not. Is it? <laughs> bro, I, it was all set up, we bro. so many tax dollars. We really didn't have beef with them. No, we didn't. It was just to to build the economy back up, bro. Look, you got a podcast now, bro. Be grateful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those people fought, bro. Yeah, they, <laughs> they literally was like, "All right, we're gonna bring, we're gonna have Osama bin Laden fake, not fake, but he's gonna, we're gonna crash this plane to the thing. You guys gonna fight, fight us for ten years, and then we'll just give us all, our, give us these uh toys, and that's what we did." Do your homework on America's not he's really in, in war, bro. <laughs> Everything's a freaking uh propaganda. At the end of the day, bro. Hey, bro. You can do what you want when you're the best, bro. <laughs> we're really not the best, bro. No, we really are, though. Oh, you think? Really? really? No, I literally cannot think of anybody that even compares. <laughs> like, m- like closest, I I can't even say Canada. Really? Because they don't have the population. Can't even. Oh, yeah. They're, they, half yeah. of their country is literally just frozen. Yeah. Not a single person. It's frozen in like Besides wooden that, areas. There's right? literally nobody. I want to go out there. I want to go out in the woods, bro. In the middle, okay, so do I, but like it's not the U.S. Yeah, no, that's kind of scary. I got scared. tickets in Canada. You got tickets? I don't pay taxes over there, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, I literally have a ticket right here. Like a parking there. ticket? Uh, I went on the train and d- didn't buy a uh, train ticket. How so much was it? I think it was $33 for the ticket. Because <laughs> it's, right it's, it's a freaking... He going he gonna to go into Canada? Tyrone Bones. Uh, why do you have, I was in Toronto. Why do you have that on you? Keep it as a basically a symbolism of I'm fucking American, so why would you ticket me? I don't fucking pay your taxes. This guy, why you? He sound like a Trump supporter. I sound like a fucking patriot. <laughs> like, Who are you voting for again? Uh, the United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's sick, bro. I'm voting for the United States of America. All right, bro. Whatever. All right, I got another um hypothetical question. I actually got two more. Right. Mm-hmm. So, if you can steal a random artifact from a fiction world, but whoever you steal it from will come back to your universe and will do all in their power to get it back, who, what would you steal? I think for me, it's pretty easy. There's only one real answer. You got to steal. I'm stealing the Omnitrix. Oh, fictional. Yeah, fictional. Oh, okay. I'm stealing the Omnitrix. Ben 10 come in. He don't got no thing. He don't got no aliens on him. 
He a 10-year-old kid. I'm beating him up. The, ah, you want your army tricks back? Ah, you little twerp. I'm kicking him. I'm, I'm transforming my damn self, throwing him with freaking forearms. He's cooked. Either that or what 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 would I what would I well, you want? You can't steal it. Oh, you still before he gets it type shit. No, you can steal it. Like Off you can legs? you can be oh, like, oh, I want that. Like you can be like you can choose type from shit, artifacts and be like, oh, I will take shit. that. Low key, I'll take a wand from like a uh, fairly odd parents. Or I might steal Cosmo, low key, or Wanda. Yeah, but they're not. They don't want to be with you, bro. They're gonna be holding you. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. They're gonna yeah. hit me with the rules. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna hit you with the fucking rules. They don't give a fuck about that shit. Um. Maybe Batman suit. Maybe Aladdin's genie bottle. Ooh, that's hard. I like he's. I get three wishes at least. Yeah, minimum. Yeah. You know, and you could use that quick before he comes in with his freaking magic carpet. Yeah. And like honestly, what can he really do to you for real? He not really go and first, touch you. First off, I wish I had a million dollars. Boom. Yeah. Then then he appears. He's coming to f- magic carpet. Give me him back. Wish I had a gun. <laughs> <laughs> loaded. Like, I wish I had a loaded gun. And then what's your third wish? <laughs> I want to see if you're really calm. Oh, I mean that. I think that's in the rules you can't do. But like, I wish I had more wishes. But Dang think, it, bro! Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think you can do that. I think uh, then my third wish would be because uh, it's like you can't wish for more wishes. You can't wish for death, true love, or you can't true wish love. for death, true love. Yeah, you can't wish for true love, right? Yeah. So um, that's crazy. We know more about that than the freaking commandments of the freaking United States Congress. So will I. Well, I know you know. I'm saying, you know, I'm saying, I'm saying. <laughs> and, I know you might. And then, might uh, know. I think I probably wish for. Uh, I don't know. I have to think of it. I probably because I got the bread. I wasted a wish on a blick. You can get your job. You could just be a green beret without doing the work. No, but that's the part of it. Oh, so you want to go through think that? Think about it. You, you wouldn't like respect yourself as much if you. Just got onto Duke. I mean, without putting in the work. Like, yes, say you, I would. You, <laughs> what? Are you crazy? The cloud would be cool, but you, like, I don't think you as an individual would respect even yourself as much if you, like, say you didn't work out in high school, nothing. And they just gave me a scholarship? They just put you on the team. Put me on the team and I would get the hoop. I Not get, even a scholarship, you're just on the team. I'm on the team. You'd would, be, yeah, it'd be cool. I'm on the team. I would take that in a but heartbeat. Not, like, they sub you in, you're going to do extremely mid. You didn't put no work in for that. I mean, I will put work in eventually, but like, do you know how many people is in, uh, was on Kentucky's team and then they were just on it because they knew they were freaking... Yeah, but like, they were better than us. I don't think they were. I think they got better than us. I think you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> one of, one of uh, no. Mirror's Man's... Um, wait. There was, the, there's a, like Brisco, like no, there's a dude on Kentucky. His um, stepdad is DJ, is Dewan Wagner. I don't the, know. You know Dewan Wagner? The dude that played at Camden that scored 100 points? He got drafted by his son who goes to Kentucky. So basically, Dewan Wagner went to Memphis with Coach Cal. And he scored 100 points in, in Camden. And I think he's the leading scorer in New Jersey, whatever. He went to the Cavs, but then he had a disease or whatever. And he couldn't play no more. Okay. But his son is DJ Wagner. He was like the number one rated player in the, in the country like two years ago. He played at Camden, whatever. But his stepbrother is, I think he played with, I don't know if he played with Jameer. But they went to the same high school. Oh, uh, and he's on Kentucky? He was at, he went to Kentucky. On the team. And, like, he looked ni- like he's nice now. But, I mean, like, I feel like what you play with dudes that nice, then, like... What you get a certain amount of publicity. But, yeah, you're going to get... Yeah. Bro, I would, I would... I would, on a heartbeat, go to Duke to just sit the bench. I mean, I would do that to sit the bench, but, like... I can finesse NIL you're deals. You're not... You're, like, with this pod? What? Yeah, easily. <laughs> but you wouldn't be a, a basketball player now. You know what I mean? Like... Okay, maybe I'm thinking about my perspective not having... having right now, through all they that. could throw me on the roster. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? That would be fun. But, like, now I'm like, yo... When I have you mo- can't you can't preach to the youth about hard work. Like you can't you can't teach your I son. I can still preach. You can't teach your son like I this can, is what you got to do. I'm saying say you never worked hard at bath. You never played in high school. Yeah. You never played in like anywhere else. You didn't play AAU, so you don't know about drills and all that shit. They yeah. just snap. You didn't get no. You don't know nothing about training. Your son's probably not gonna go D one. I <laughs> or he's not going to actually. I can guarantee it because it's like you, you know, know nothing about training basketball. But now I have the experience with being a Duke, and I can get connections. Yeah, no, that's good. But I'm saying, like, that's, like, I'm talking dream job-wise. Like, it's part of learning actually how to do the job. I can get the connections to help help my son get better. It might be a little harder, but, like, because it might be more expensive, I guess. But you never know. 
No, I don't you know. Ain't, you ain't getting no bread, bro. You're not getting an NIL deal. Bro. <laughs> they just on the roster. Let me make it to the bottom roster and get no deal, bro. They got something. They get like 20k a year. They get something. No, get... 20k a year. No, 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 no. They don't get. They have to get something. Nah, my homie, who I don't know if he even was allowed to tell me, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, like him. He's not. He didn't get that. He was a starter on a tournament team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so you can't. I, I, they don't get no 20k. Dang, that's you get like... your scally, and then you get like a little, you know. Six hundred, you get two thousand. We we got, I want I want to I want to ask about East thing after this. Yeah, yeah. But all right, oh I guess yeah. I'm gonna get an nil deal. I'm gonna figure out a way. I'm gonna make it cool, bro. I'm gonna make it cool. Pinch your nails and do the. N- yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'm not painting my nails. You're crazy. Yeah, but I got one last hypothetical question before we end the podcast time. Mm-hmm. So, someone is giving you ten million dollars, but in order to get the ten million dollars, you have to eat an entire grocery store worth of food. In a, in a year You have a year to do it And you can pick Up to Three friends to help you It's easy money yeah. If you don't get it done Within a year it's Easy money You go to jail You go to The worst prison Imaginable For a year a Fucking year a Fucking year I think Yeah So you have to eat Everything in the store And the thing is Like there's nothing in it But you get a full size kitchen So you can cook all the food they're not going to add no food, like, say, like, a new grocery's coming in, and none of the food is going to expire. But you have to eat. So, say you walk into, the, to, to, into like, a shop, right, or a stopping shop, you have to eat every single food that's in there. What are you doing for $10 million? And you each get $10 million if you pick four, uh, three people. There's four of y'all. So, it'll be a $40 million pot. Everybody get $10 million. Yeah, it's free. There's no way you're doing that. It's easy. Watch this, bro. There, you know how f- you're gonna turn fat. Your worst nightmare. You're gonna I literally <laughs> won't, bro. I'm gonna work out. Oh, this is how I can't work out. I mean, you could, but like but that's that's my full time job now. Yeah, just eating is eating. But so, you know what I mean, bro. Wake up. Yes. Eat. Then work out. Eat. <laughs> game. Eat. Work out. Eat. Sleep. Work out. It's simple. That's not gonna, bro. That's you know how much food is in there. Yeah, bro. Okay. Look, so you divvy it up. You rotate so you don't get tired. Because like, really, what I thought about was the only thing I was worried about was like, damn, I would thought I don't think I'll be able to eat all those Doritos. That's I was really thinking that in my mind. Yeah, I was was like, like, that is too many Doritos. That's too many chips, bro. Yeah, it's gonna blow my shit. (laughs) But I said it's easy, right? If I have three friends, right? Yeah. We rotate in terms of okay. This week, you're on Doritos duty, so you gotta finish at least six bags by the end of this week. Six bags. You gotta finish these six bags and rotate every week. Two people doing the bags, do it, and then, then so you don't get tired of it, and then you won't be back on Dorito duty for another month, right? And we're gonna rotate. Nah, there's no way, it's, bro. It's, yeah, it's comp. There's yeah. no way you can eat all that. Hit food. up Mr. Beast, bro. I promise you, it's easy money. That's that's mad food. Like you go into like a Stop and Shop, that's all hella steak food. And stuff you easy money. That's so much. Easy money. I don't think you, you have to at least, like, there might be like five, maybe like a hundred or hundred to two hundred pounds of like steak in there. So say like a How one steak is easy too. One, they say one steak. One steak is like half a pound. So two steaks a pound. You got two hundred. That's four hundred steaks in a year. You're gonna. You, I don't think you're gonna be able to eat. That. You're gonna get tired. You're gonna die out. Four hundred steaks in a year. That's a lot. Wait, that's just that's just steak. Weird. We're not even talking about the chips. We're not even talking about the chicken. We're not even gonna talk about the fish. We're not even gonna talk about. I'm talking about everything in that store. Not even the drinks. You might need like ten people, bro, and I mean like ten fat nah, dudes. You're right. Like, there's no way. Nah, there's not four hundred steaks in there. There's I just a- bought steak today or not today Monday. You go there. So yeah, there's nothing in the back though. So the back. That's what I'm saying. Nah, that's not a four. You'll be fine. The think? burgers, there's probably like it's a supermarket. It's not Costco. Yeah, no. It's not if it's Co- Costco, you're super big. There's yeah, no, no. <laughs> shop. But if you go to Shoprite, bro, you look at the steaks. There was only like twelve steaks. Really? Then yeah, you go to they go to Stop and Shop right by the block. You go there, twelve steaks. Then you got another twenty uh, chicken patties, twenty ground beefs. It's not loaded. It's not loaded to where it's like 400. This isn't the meat store. <laughs> they got a meat section. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So then, nah, that's easy. That's easy. Oh, yeah, that's easy. That's easy. The hard part is the snacks. That's the only hard part. Yeah. And the sauces. 
Yeah. I got to sauce everything you up. Yeah, drown it. That's it. You might have to start drinking some ketchup once in a while. No, nah, that's easy. I could get through I could get through 12 steaks in one week. Really? I mean, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Easy money. I don't think I could do it, bro. Yeah, I got to do that, bro. Yeah, I'll, nothing in the back. It's just the front. Yeah, straight. I'm easy. Easy. You going to do it, though? Easy, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you don't, you go to jail. Three the homies. Work? I get my fattest homies, bro. The fattest? Easy, bro. UJ. Niggas that eat. I'm talking <laughs> professional eaters, bro. Oh, yeah. He's a professional eater. I'm not even going to lie. Me and UJ might be able to do that dolo, bro. No, nah, you're not. You're they, that's, Now that's where you're bugging. Uh, I know y'all both big dudes, but there's no way in bro, God's green earth you're going to eat you all that. You don't understand the shit we've been... That's a lot of food, Ty. That's yeah, too much the food. snacks is the only hard part. Snacks, and then you got the frozen foods. Well, you can you warm can cook. them up, yeah, bro. You, you understand? When me and UJ was living together, bro, nigga, we was going through like the big Costco bags of chicken. We kill one one day, one night. <laughs> now you give us three, four meals a day. <laughs> Y'all gonna come out like three fifty, bro. Now I'm a, well, maybe him, but yeah. I'm gonna work out. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I work out. So okay, okay, I ran five miles yesterday, nonstop, forty minutes straight. I'm nice as fuck, by the way. Where, like outside? Me in North, bro. Come on, where else I run, bro? That's good, bro. Yeah, I run around the streets, bro. I went on, what did I do? I played pickleball. You run a mile, bro. I, I, I run a mile one day. Five days. miles straight was OD, bro, 600. I was just, legs tired. I know my legs going to be sore tomorrow. I did it yesterday, but. Oh, the second day is always the worst day. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get you. But, yeah. hey, man. I, don't, I, I still, I might do it, but I'm just afraid of prison, bro. I don't like prison. I seen a video, a guy was like, bro. He was like, man, like he was a prison, like he was in prison, right? So he was like, you know, any day you have to protect yourself. Some dude might walk into your cell and be like, he throw you a knife. He'd be like, all right, bro, if I like, we are gonna fight it out. Whoever win, uh, win and get the get the booty. Like it take. I'm like, I'm, give you a knife, or yo. Yeah, like kill me. give me a knife. I'm like yo, if you get if you lose, bro, I'm take your butt. If you beat me, you take my butt. And that's how we are gonna do it. That's crazy. Imagine you get stabbed. What if I don't want your butt? Nah, he's like, nah, you got to. <laughs> Like, imagine you get stabbed, you bleeding out with somebody taking your butt. That's OD. Pause. Don't imagine that. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Yo, this is your boyfriend, bro. I see the story. I didn't say I yeah, was doing I just, that. Nigga said, imagine that. This is what he thinks about <laughs> before he falls asleep. <laughs> I can't. I, that's what I'm saying. I'm scared of prison. I'm scared to go to jail. I'll never go to jail. Nah, I'll die before that happened. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't going, bro. I'm cool. I, I do not fear death, bro. I fear God. So you could kill me before I become gay. <laughs> Damn, that sounds crazy. Anything that, that sounds, that sounds, that nothing's wrong with being gay. Disclaimer, all right? <laughs> he means by people taking his booty home. Yeah, that's what I mean, bro. Yeah. Uh, I'll bleep that out. Hopefully, yeah, that let's see. One forty. Let me put the time on there. One. Let's end the pod before it gets even worse. Yeah, it's getting tweaks. Because Tyrone, it's getting, it's getting to that type of hour. One four. Let's see. One. Um. Forty. You got anything else you want to talk about, Ty, before we end the pod? No. I got some announcements to do. So, people, like I said, it's almost our three-year anniversary for the pod, so a lot of things is dropping. We are dropping our haunted house or our haunted prison video. is coming out on September 13th, which is Friday the 13th. Tune into that. If you want to see me, Ty, Jason, Ish, Jordan, Corey, Fritz, all in a haunted prison for five hours, tune into that, bro. We got... We got a special episode. If you want to, oh, subscribe to our Patreon if you want to see the behind the scenes and extra video clips from that because there's a lot of things that we can't post on YouTube and there's a lot of things that we won't post on YouTube mm -hmm. because it's too much. So if you want to do that, subscribe to that. But first, we're going to talk to everybody who is subscribed to our Patreon account. Shout out to everybody that is in our Patreon account. Use, um, not use, go to our Patreon, uh, patreon.com forward slash no regulars podcast. We have $3 tiers, $5 tiers, $10 tiers. And we got free subscribers, but y'all really don't get much. So that's what I'm saying. So shout out to all our free subscribers. We got Jalen Strong, Levi O'Neal, Jordan Smith, Javarian Jackson, which he hit me up and he's actually from Charlotte. I thought you were from uh, Atlanta, my brother, but my boy. Javarian. I thought you was from Atlanta. Or maybe that was somebody else. There was a, another dude. But Habashu Bashu did Sid. Don't, and let me know if I'm saying your name right or if you just typed it in randomly. Farmington Fleming, Jean Paul Sr. Where's Junior at? Summer McKintry, Robert Shelton, O'Shea Drew, Jaquavion. I think Jaquavion. I think that might have been you that I said that was from Atlanta. I don't know. Let me know. I Bad think that, host. Uh, there was 
because it was two J's, I kind of like mixed it up. <laughs> but yeah, um, Jesse Rod- Rodriguez, Kev, Rob Quash, Cal, Nud the Shield, Isabel Graham, Leek, DJ Woods, Ramon Padilla, Alyssa Smith, Laquell Ingram, and King Fry. And now we're going to shout out everybody who is in our second round steals, which is our $5 tier members. We've got DJ Khalid, Leland Poole, Muhammad Tamia, and a new member, Trey Simmons. Shout out to my boy Trey. He just subscribed today and I talked to him today. Great guy. And lastly, we got our first round lottery picks. We have Tavon Cox and actually Leland Poole is in the $10 tier. So shout out to y'all. We have, I think we just posted a Patreon episode this weekend. So tune into that. And we got another, we got a lot more Patreon stuff coming up there. We got a lot more um things coming to the podcast not just podcasts we're doing more content people especially coming into the new year so tune into that for the whole fall and uh winter time people tune in a lot more stuff coming tape on cox shout out to him uh we different than right no rights man gangster